back to another live stream play by play with the hockey coach guru Cole French is directly from the Sunshine State in Florida. We are a little bit late because we just complete the another show warm-up show. Flowers visit the Montreal Canadian. The puck is gonna be dropped right away. We welcome everybody. We're going to go to the game right away and then we're going to be back with you guys talking more about the welcome everybody and Montreal win the face off and it's going to be in the middle Jake Evans trying to get a puck in the left side of the goaltender Martin Jones recovery went out by the Pitlick leave the puck to the blue line pinched by Romanov get the point in the zone Pitlick recovery point for the net and uh, missed the puck right there by Jake Evans of course and also we have right now the Montreal Canadian keep the puck. I think it was Harvey Pinal. Finally, Ramana after a gap control recovery now behind the net of the carry Price. Uh, we talk about David Savard. Ramana joined the party in front of Nate Thompson. Recovery went up by Savard. Savard right now waiting for uh, set up the breakout in front of Konechny. Bring the puck right now to Ramana. Ramana lose the puck. Finally, recovery puck. Drop back to Saval for checking right now. Montreal struggle a little bit. Pick the puck under the side. Recovery by Suski. Suski passes the puck right now to Caulfield. Lob the puck in front for Anderson. Battle right now. And recovery right now by Josh Anderson. The corner chasing the puck right there. A lot of play for the Flyers. I apologize for I don't know everyone for the Flyers tonight. The, the Caulfield right now. The blue line. Caulfield is the back in front. The defenseman. Recovery right now by the, uh, by the Flyers. Going to pick up all the way back on the offensive zone. Drop the puck right now. Connect me right now in the corner of Carey Price. Control the puck. Try to get a puck on the other side intercept went up by Kevin Hayes Hayes dropped the puck right there to the defenseman for the puck Price make a save recovery went out behind the net of the Flyers but already there in front of Zuski and um, uh, Montreal Canadian I don't know who it was uh, anyway Coffee battle for the puck lose the puck in the neutral zone high stick for uh, Petri battle right now and we're going to have an icing in front of GBR and we're going to restart at the left side of Carey Price thank you so much to join us tonight the Blackhawks are back John Gregor Joseph Laham Danny T the moderator Zev Lacav is back with us tonight and uh, thank you again to be a part of the Hockey Nation show don't forget please to click on the like if you don't mind that be helping us a lot to grow that's only we request right now at that moment likes 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 like yeah and subscribe to the Hockey Nation show face up right now they were rack on the eyes for the face up when the pay when the face up drop by <coughs> Montreal Canadian is white man it's seven minutes on zone and the puck goes again to Whiteman. Whiteman to Glag. Glag, good play. Don't give a puck to the Flyers. Flyers give away the puck now. Bring the puck for the net. Fire! Miss the net. Recovery to the side. Gallagher recovered the puck. Gallagher tried to get a puck off. Man, another uh, interception by the, by the, the Flyers. Uh, and the puck stay in the neutral zone. All the way back now to Whiteman. Whiteman set up right now. Long stretch pass, neutral zone. Gallagher recovery back to uh, Kate Glag. Glagish uh, play for the Montreal Canadian Jordan Iris is out uh, for the uh, for the lineup tonight. Uh, the puck went out to Devarek. Devarek so many under the zone. It's run Poland. Poland should have missed the net completely. Fire by the Montreal Canadian on the blue line. Intercepted out by Edmondson behind the net. Uh, back again to Poland. Poland control the puck in front of the defenseman. Reserve out by Petri. Petri should have played. Black shot by the Flowers. Keep that deep zone by Tyler Petlick. Finally, the Flyers going to get out of the zone and, and shoot a puck. Intercept went up by Jordan Edmondson re recovery and press the puck to Jean Petrie. Back to Edmondson and now skidding to the red line and control the puck all the way on the offensive zone. Edmondson's going all the way back behind the goaltender. It's rare to see Jordan Edmondson right there. But now Jake Evan trying to get a puck in front of Thompson. Flyers recover the puck, trying to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, he did it. And now the puck will be back on defense zone. Ramanev to Emerson. Emerson drives the puck in front of Ramanev. Intercept by the Flyers in front of net. Miss the puck right there. The puck go all the way outside the zone on the all the way on the territory. Martin Jones uh, drive the puck right there to um, defenseman. But the Montreal intercept the puck right away. Bring the puck to the blue line. Savard back to Ramanev. Ramanev shoot the puck in front of net. John make a save right there. Battle in the corner. Harvey Pinar. No chance right now. Stop by Romanov. Shoot the puck. Miss the net. Uh, recovery in the corner by Pinar. Pinar in front of net. And for Jake Evans. But Flores intercept. Now they are coming in the trade zone. Dumping the puck behind Carey Price. Chasing the puck right there. Price put the puck. Drop to Romanov. Romanov back to Savard. Savard's coming down the trade zone. Pass the puck to the right side. Dumping by the Montreal Canadian. It was Zuski, I believe. It turned around. And the Flores going to reset on the breakout. They are skating with the puck now to carry on to the neutral zone. Dumping the puck to the right side. Dumping the puck right away to 
Uh, ça va, ça va, waiting for the plus coming for the Montreal Canadian. And we are right now 16 minutes remaining on the first period. That's where we're at. Romanov skating went out at the neutral zone. Pass up on the right side for the coffee and it tells somebody flowers. But ça va, recovery the puck and pass back to Romanov in front of the prize. Uh, long stretch pass on the Montreal Canadian. Chase it by the same first one recovery behind the goaltender Jones. Uh, and now in front of Keith Yandol. Uh, and then finally the puck turned around by the flowers in front of Caulfield. Caulfield trying to get a puck and it's up by the flowers going to get out of the zone. They are coming down the front season for the Montreal Canadiens. Then lose the puck in front of Price. And now the Montreal Zuzki get hit uh, by uh, the player for the flowers. Recovery behind the net. Finally the puck going in front of Price. But Montreal recovered the puck. They are coming out. Uh, pass the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield looking now. Caulfield in front of the net. A little bit too far for. Uh, Josh Anderson, uh, I was great champ because a break away. If not, now the pass went out. The Flyers best to go to the back side with that. Don't pay the puck all the way back behind the net. Uh, and you go all the way back to another side. Intercept went out by the, the Flyers. Price bring the puck in the corner. Uh, the Flyers bring the puck to Blanc. Shoot the puck. Black shot by Gallagher, I believe. The puck go outside the zone to Carfield. Intercept went out by the Flyers. You go to reset and they regroup together and throw the puck in the neutral zone. All the way back to the right side, on in the neutral zone at Atar. Atar bring the puck behind the net of the Edmondson. Back to Petri. Petri ran the puck to the board and go to intercept right now. The puck goes to the left side. Now shoot for the flowers. Uh, and block shot again by the Montreal Canadian. Edmondson trying to get the puck in the corner. Turn around right there. Montreal cannot get it. The flowers coming now, but the puck goes still and the puck goes in the neutral zone. That's what going to receive now by the flowers. They are coming now in front of Carey Price. And the puck go in the corner. Chelsea by Jeff Petrie. Paddle right now. And the goal, nobody pick up the puck at the blue line. And the puck go going to be on the defensive zone. And now an neutral zone by the Flowers. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. Both teams struggle to organize, to make something good. Uh, they only give a puck all the time. Now the puck intercept again by the Montreal Canadiens. Gallagher don't pick the puck. Too far for the war rack. Intercept went up by the defenseman at the Flowers. I'll be honest with you, this is not very good. It's just like, it's a ping-pong game right now. It's one side to go to the side, go back to the side. Yeah, nothing's going on. No structure, not organized. It, 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 it's a uh, five more game to go anyway. The puck went out to Jake Evan. Intercepted up by the Flowers. Jake Evan finally recovered the pipe. Pass again to Pitlick. Pitlick's coming in the offensive zone. Pitlick changed the direction. Turn around. Pitlick bring the puck around the net. Uh, let the puck all the way back to Evans in the corner. Bring the puck to the blue line. Uh, tip. In front of Saval, Ramanov's coming back uh, to pick up the puck in front of uh, Kevin Hayes. Uh, connect Nick Battle with Ramanov at the blue line, at the red line. And it was finally the puck fired by uh, Connect Nick. The puck go over the prize. We have a whistle at that moment. And that's where we at uh, right now. TH, welcome aboard. Not bright. Uh, welcome aboard. Patrick Fenn, welcome aboard. Thank you, Alexander Ma uh, Le Maillard. Kelly, I got you. And don't forget to click on the likes. That's what we add at that moment. Fire! Here we go, let's do it. Welcome back, everybody. Andrew Ford. Welcome back, Andrew Ford. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. Uh, like my little friend right here. Right there, my little friend. He said, uh, hi. Please click on the likes. Zevlaka, where is Enotape? He went to the dinner after the show we did together at 7 o'clock. Uh, Mr. Zevlaka. We'll see what's going on around the league at that moment. We have about 45 people, guys. That would be great if you can click on the likes. That's the only thing we ask of you. If you don't mind, I know it's maybe bother you. I understand that. But that's the only way we ask you this to do that. Uh, subscribe and click on the like. It, it takes five seconds at helping us to grow and get more viewers, if you don't mind to do that. Uh, the Red Wings take the score. Sam Gagne score against the Panthers. Um, I will tell you one thing what's going on in Florida, guys, the Panthers. You know, like, you have nobody in the, in the fans, everything like that. 
they don't have a TV channel regular to watch the game. Right now, they show me the Miami Marlins. That's what a problem you get in South Florida. We cannot get a, a normal TV station to watch the game. I don't know what the game is right now on the TV station. It, it's just crazy when you think about that. Like about after that, so, oh yeah, no people in the in the crowd here. But you cannot carry on a one station TV to carry on your team every 82 game at the same channel night after night. That just blew my mind. Uh, Charlie Olivier Terrier, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. The puck went out and then it was on. Recovery for the Montreal Canadiens went to face off. The drop, drop puck over there. And I'm try to get a puck. Flowers intercept. It's a guy, guys. It's just intercept all the time. Uh, the puck go to the right side. Don't pin the puck behind uh, Carey Price. Uh, we have an icing and we have a whistle at that moment. Uh, Daryl Adam, 331. Welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us with Mr. Charles Olivier Terrier. <laughs> I don't see this happening, Daryl. I leave if Montreal keeps some money for Gallagher. Uh, you know, the remarks slide very quickly, honestly. Uh, but I don't see this happen. Anyway, uh, the Flowers pick up the pucks coming on into a zone all the way back. Uh, don't pin the pipe behind uh, Carey Price to under the side. And now the Montreal recovery pipe to go dizzy. Back went out to Glag. Glag long stretch pass right now. They're a bit too far from uh, Hoffman or Carfield. And we have a whistle at that moment. Will this score tonight? Uh, Mike, Beth, Renault, welcome aboard. That win 1 0, kill up. Yep, I just said that about this. Uh, will this score tonight? Uh, hopefully they will. The Penguins just score 1 0 and through 4. Thank you so much for the information. Welcome back, Mr. Mike <laughs> Renault. Hey, Mark Bilil, uh, ça va très bien, toi? Comment ça va? It's going to be 4 1 to the abs. Uh. <laughs> the puck went out, go all the way behind Carrie Price. Carrie Price played the puck went out, drop the puck went out to Glag. Glag trying to get a puck, he's set on the flying for the net. Price make a save, and he scores! OMG, the Flowers take the lead, it's GBR. Put the puck behind Carrie Price, a bad play by Carrie Price behind the net. Miscommunication with Kim Glagu. And then Carey Price did not cover the post. And bing, bang, boom, the flat score. This is not going to be good because if Montreal lost tonight, I have a lot of questions about the Montreal Canadiens, honestly. Uh, this is a really, look, the bad play by Carey Price. Glad you gave the puck to the Flyers. And Carey Price did not cover the post. Right away, right there, he have a hole on the side of the right. And the way right now, that's, Unbelievable. The Flyers went out, recovered the pipe, don't pay the pipe to Ramen up. Ramen up, play the pipe to the board. Long stretch pass, neutral zone. Pass the pipe right there to Hoffman. Hoffman's coming offensive zone. Hoffman to the right side. Bring the pipe, get a tip by the direct. No chance for Gallagher. Turn around right there, and the Flyers coming down and neutral zone. Control the pipe, and don't pay the pipe. All the way back to Ramen up. Ramen up right now, control the pipe, bring the pipe on an offensive zone. Uh, but again, they go to the right side. Gallagher shoot the puck, miss the net, the puck in front of Jones. We're going to have a whistle at that moment with 11.47 to go. And that's what we had at that moment. Gallagher, as another player, have a really difficult time, uh, like Josh Anderson and Ren Pitlick. Uh, the guy cannot score a goal. Uh, that's what we had. Uh, tie game and Sunrise, uh, Kale Abs. Uh, bad goal, go Abs is a must win game, Alexandre Maya. Uh, Yes, expect that, Caleb. Um, I don't know how the how they can fill up there again the Detroit on this, again the, the Florida Panthers tonight. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. Now Jake Evan get get out in front of Kevin Ace for uh, of the of the of the circle. 
But now the puck find a way by the Matwak and then ran the puck to under the side. And the puck turned around and the flowers coming back to Kanekni. Kanekni drive the puck in front of Carey Price, no stop. The puck go to the left side and Jake Evans grab the puck outside the zone, pass the puck to Pitlick. Pitlick try to get a puck, turn around. And the Flyers coming back right away. Connect me, lose the puck. And now Matois coming at three versus one. Pitlick and the pass and the back door. Big save at the birthday, John. On the, on the, uh, on the back door. What a save. And Montois Pitlick have a little bit less confidence at the end. He went a little bit too far. But again, great play. And Martin, uh, and Martin Jones, Martin Jones, and make a big save. Montois that came out. Pass the puck right there to the left side. Go to the other side. Back to the back door. Pitlick shoot he missed the net how you killing me he was eh, alone he missed the net now Pitlick shoot the point for the net the rebound right there missed the net to the other side John make a save and the Flyers get hit right now in the corner the finally the puck go outside the zone first up a save for the Montreal Canadian and uh, honestly Jeff Petrie missed a great opportunity right there wow how did he miss that one over there Jeff Petrie First on the 2-1. Look about the pass to Pitlick. Over the, over the blade of the Pitry. Bad play by Pitlick. Now Pitry alone. And uh, maybe hit the pose, by the way. I apologize. And then uh, the third time, uh, Martin John make a save. The turn run went out by Matuata. Came out. Shoot the puck. Completely by Caulfield. The puck going to the blue line. Get out of the zone. No chance to intercept. Went out by Zizki. Or go to reset all the way behind the net of the carry prize uh, with 10-20 to go. Just keep passing the puck right away back to Whiteman. Back with the glag. Bring the puck behind of Martin Jones. John bring the puck to the defenseman. Turn around right there. And the puck go outside the zone. A one versus one right there on the left side over there. The puck's coming right there. And we have a penalty for the Montreal Canadiens. Glag, second bad play by Kate Glag. Is coming back tonight. It must have been winning so bad. And maybe in that last chance to win the game since the end of the season. Alexander, I agree with you. Elio, Elia, Sirwa Kote, welcome aboard. Thanks for being here. It's a bit late for a must win game now. Um, yeah, but it'll be fun to get one game. Uh, power play, Flyers. Uh. Wow. Glag have a difficult first half of the prayer right now, to be honest with you. He struggled a lot. Uh, he was the one uh, factor of the goal against the Flowers at the beginning. And then now he just get a penalty uh, for Hu King. And that's why we had the Flowers apply their power play uh, again, a Montreal Canadian. The puck stopped at the blue line. Montreal is coming now. Possibly a 2 1. Pitlick went out looking. Pitlick shot the back door. Pitlick! Are you killing me? This is the second time he got a 2 1. He had a bad pass again. Red Pitlick. Now the floor is coming back to the back door. Oh, another bad pass again. And then I'm on toilet attack again. The upcoming at 3 versus 1. Pitlick on the right side of John. Pitlick looking. Back in the back door. Jake Evans shoot. Missing it again. Pitlick. Three times on 2 1. He can pass this pass. How are you killing me? Pitlick. 3 1. 2 1. 2-1, it do nothing. Unbelievable. The puck right now going inside. The flyer attacking right now. Back at the end of the left side. The puck go right side of the flowers. Bring the puck to the right side. Coming around the defenseman Romana. At the right left side of Kerry Price on the back door. Intercept that Paronav. Bring the puck to the other side right now. The fly strike that came in now stop at the at the defenseman. Pass the puck to the left side. Back to him. Looking now on backwards to another side. Flies coming now on the right side. Flew the puck. And the puck go all the way back over the carry price. Going to restart right away right there with 37 seconds remaining on the power play for the Flyers. But Pitlick, first time, take the puck over. Pitlick, second time, completely behind the Jake Evan. Third time, he passed the puck again behind Jake Evan. Unbelievable. Welcome, everybody. Abonné à Chien, à Chien, quest quoi? Merci, Elia. Denis Rodrigue, welcome aboard. Terry T, welcome aboard. Don't forget to click on the likes. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? 
The puck went out with Karipa the Flores. Pass the puck to the right side. Uh, fire the puck. Price make a save. Turn around and Jake Evans recovery. Jake Evans coming now. All the way there. The attacking went out. He had to wait for the puck right there. Fire the puck uh, over the Martin John. We're going to restart and go start over there on the right side of Martin John's. Uh, uh, two teams cannot score, two teams struggle, but it is what it is. Uh, did you see Evan kiss the board? Zep, yep, yeah, Italy kiss the board too. Everybody kiss the board. Alexander, we want to thank you for the first big forget the winning. Uh, <laughs> just one, yeah. Zep, just one. Just one, Zep, maybe. John Gregor, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us. The puck went out, winning by the Flowers uh, with 20 seconds remaining on the power play. 8.28 to go at the first period. Drive the puck behind the outcoming the third zone. Pass the puck to the far side. Recovery right now behind the net of Carey Price. Battle right there. And recovery for the Montreal Canadian in the outcoming out. Uh, and the puck go to the left side. Montreal try to get a find in the even strength at that moment. The puck go all the way back on the neutral zone. Reserve now for the Montreal Canadian. Edmondson drive the puck on the left side. And we have an uh, uh, offside, uh, I don't know, uh, as, I don't know, you have a whistle anyway. Then he doit respirer un peu, coach. It's better to kiss the board than kissing something else. Yeah, I agree with you. Si le comique, coach, pas de problème avec lui, il doit respirer un peu. Oh my God. Go Flyers, go. Kevin, welcome back, Mr. Kevin. Hopefully you're doing well. Thanks for being a part of the show. Uh, Ryan Pitlick is the ad Brett Marchand. I don't know, but he looks like uh, Terry Harper right now. Because uh, with how can you miss three times? Unbelievable. Let's see what's going on around the league. The Flyers 1-0. Uh, the Panthers 1-1. At Sherry score for the, Panther, uh, for the Panthers. 0-0 Devil Sabres. 1-0 the Pittsburgh Guanzel score. The Jets take the lead 1-0 uh, over the Carolina. Uh, Kyle Connor score. And that's what the four game right now at that moment is uh, play 730. We'll have more games start in the next couple of minutes. Uh, don't forget to click on the likes. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Uh, about that. Uh, Luke, uh, welcome back, Mr. Luke. Thanks for joining us tonight. Sport fan, welcome back. Thanks to be a part of the show, Mr. Sport fans. Also, don't forget to click on the likes. I don't think so, Renault is going to be signing, uh, signing. He is 30 years old. I don't see it. David Seba has been fast place game so far. For Zeph, glad because here right now is very boring. Uh, you don't miss anything right now, uh, other than the fact you hear my voice. <laughs> Kilo, welcome back. Uh, and now the puck turn around right now for the Montreal Canadian. And the puck stop at the blue line. Bring the puck behind Carey Price. The puck go all the way to another side. We know the two teams are the number 31, uh, 32 and 30. About the most goals for in the NHL. Two teams cannot score, by the way. Uh, two teams have a lot of injuries during the year. Montreal recovered the puck. as you going to waiting right there. Uh, it's going to be Chris Whiteman. New players coming from the Montreal Canadian. Whiteman back to Glag. Glag right now behind Hoffman. Recovery by him. Recovery by Glag. Honestly, uh, Glag, uh, why, why not to play Jordan Iris? Uh, uh, oh, a check went out in the back. No call for the ref. Uh, the turnaround by the Flyers going to turn around and they're going to regroup at by Kevin Hayes. Uh, Hayes getting it back to the blue lines. Coming into the, the red line. Keep the puck for himself. Uh, now he's coming, push the puck behind Carey Price. Chasing by Jeff Petrie. Kevin Hayes uh, recovered the puck with the hands. Drop the puck down. Chasing went up behind uh, Zuski. And uh, wake up with Pike Gallagher, drive the puck to Suski, back again to Edmondson, drive the puck in the zone, intercept up by Carfield to Suski, and back again to uh, 
uh, Jeff Petrie, right? Petrie to Caulfield, uh, stop right there, uh, turn around, but the flies are coming back right away, and the puck will connect me, connect me, try to get a puck, kick out the puck to Hayes, a little bit too far, Petrie recover the puck, turn around, and pass the puck, Petrie a little bit more, uh, skate tonight, Caulfield, throw the puck behind the net, recovered by Suzuki, Suzuki tried to get a break out, long stretch, best to Anderson, kick went out, possibility of sight, no? I think so too. That's what I think about that. We go to a result all the way, uh, not a whistle, but I uh, have an offside delay, and the puck get finally outside the zone, uh, and the puck go behind Carey Price, going to reset behind him. Paddle right now uh, with about a little bit over six minutes to go, remaining on the first period. Can he get the can he get puck, intercept by the Flyers, uh, and the puck turn around, and go all the way back behind uh, Martin John, Martin John, and the Flyers recovery, break out to the neutral zone, intercept now, it's coming on the right side, a possible to break away. Carey Price will hit the pose, uh, make a save, and turn around right now by Romano. Romano passes the puck to the right side. Control the puck now. Jake Evan got steal the puck be from behind. And now the flies coming back at three versus two. Recovery right now. Shoot the puck, block shot by Evan. Fire the flies. Another block shot by the Montreal Canadian. Turn around right there. The flies keep the puck deep zone. Turn point in the back door. Intercept right now uh, by the. And now we have a sick in the face. Uh, and we have no call. Uh, I'll bat one over there on the swing of the stick, hit Romanov in the face, uh, and Romanov right now lay down on the belly, and the referee talk each other if you see it was a penalty or not. Uh, here we go. Uh, Adam Massage Parlois is also start to play. Uh, Poland play well tonight. Uh, give it a break with a foot massage. Joseph, I go another tattoo. Congratulations, say, uh, Nat. Exactly, Joseph, and I tap. We are getting a tattoo each other. And I tap. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. So, uh, I'm going to do it. It's down, Natalie. Yeah, got a stick. We'll be back. <laughs> Hey, welcome, Miss. Welcome back, Mr. Raju Delaney, ladies and gentlemen, the man of the men, uh, number one fan of Nick Zuski, back in the house, uh, Roger Delaney. <laughs> Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, 48 people, 30 likes. Someone did not click on the likes. I see you right now. I see you right now. Click, click, click. Like my friend right here. Click on the likes. I want to see 32 right now. 31. We miss one. I, I want 32. We miss one of you of 52 people right now in the chat. Did not click on the like. I know who you are. Please click on the likes. I can wait for the number 32. 32. One. 32. Here we go. We got the number 32. Jace Elman. We get the 32. Let's do it. Here we go. 32 likes. 35 likes. We keep pushing reverse 35 likes. Bingo! 35 likes. Uh, sometimes we just need to dance a bit the reverse and get some more like 37 likes. Uh, you guys are on fire right now. Don't give up. Let's go get 40 in the next three minutes. Uh, we'll see what's happening about that. Time to hit the bed. Don't hit the likes. Uh, fall down to hit the likes. Uh, Alexandra. Here we go. We have a face off right now on the left side of Carey Price. No penalty. It was external. Look like the ice stick. Uh, about that. Uh. And not that, Joseph, I think you will kill me tonight in the fantasy battle. Shoot the puck right there. And the flower score. Povarov score. Wow. The flowers score. 2-0. Face off. Let's see what's happening. Losing by the flyers, bringing by the right side. And Carey Price uh, and Paolo Pitlick. And uh, yep. Carey Price not looking good tonight. Wow. We lost the face off. And uh, flyers take advantage of that. Says get Bandan Bull Price not doing uh, the job tonight, Zeph. Uh, not tonight. Honestly, 
The puck go to the other side. Uh, two goal and six shot, by the way. The puck drop all the way back uh, to um, Flyers. They're going to regroup on the defensive zone with about a little bit more five minutes to go remaining on the second of uh, the first period. Can Montreal come back and free for the net? F lose the puck. Fire! And no, he passed the puck to the right side. The puck go again. And turnover right there. And you're going to go all the way back on the defensive zone for the Montreal Canadiens. They're going to reset right away over there. Wow. Uh, and at that is too soon to tell uh, Danny. Uh, it was the ad coach. I will send them all the minor and let the minor show them how to play. Bad start. Always, always uh, agree with you about that one over there. I make it 2 1 as Patrick Fender. Fire again. Had the pose in front of the net. The puck behind the net. Hit him. Mike Hoffman score. And the Montreal Canadian cut the lead 2 2 1. Wow, you have a passing hands and no call. Wow, no, oh my God, Montreal is lucky, guys. They have a passing hands, but you cannot reviewing this on the on the reviewing. You cannot call Toronto for passing hands. Is it goal not good? <laughs> But you cannot, you cannot contest this. The only review they can do is again interference. Here we go. It's not, you cannot review a goal for passing hands. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. The Montreal Canadiens got the lead. Mike Hoffman. Reverse. We cut the lead two to one. Uh, go back now, pass to back. Emerson looking now. Emerson on the blue line. Pass again to Jeff Petri. Petri waiting right now. Shoot the puck in the corner. Pass again on the other side. Montreal try getting a recovery for the flush. Still by Anderson. Drive the puck went out to Caulfield. Fire the puck. And this is game is the puck on the post. Uh, OMG again. Montreal hit the hit the, the the door, but he cannot put the puck because he did not. Uh, Horn the clock. Uh, the puck turn around right up on the flowers. Green puck behind the Price. Green puck in front of the net. Turn around right up on the Montreal Canadian. Kings right now. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield by now. He got uh, in front of Poronov. Intercept. No chance for Montreal. Anderson recovery puck. Bring the puck to Romanov. Romanov to Esava. 3.35 to go remaining on the first period. Montreal resets there. Bring the puck to the left corner. Romanov recovered the puck. Back to Sava. Sava getting the puck to the right side. It's coming by Kaliga. Long stretch pass went out by Devarak. Devarak went out in front of the net. How about shoot? Oh, get some shot. Re recovery by Gallagher. And he shoot a puck, stop by the defenseman. And then a third puck go outside the zone. But the flowers they are coming now. GVR drop the puck on the right side of Kai Price. Play the puck a little bit. Back to Sava. Sava to Devarak. Intercepting up by the flowers. Gallagher is a little bit too far. The puck turn around by Romanov. On the back end, bring the puck to corner to Gallagher. Gallagher recover the puck, dumping the puck behind the defenseman. No icing. Chasing right now. 
by the Montreal Canadiens, the Flyers recovered the puck by Saint Ham and go did they they go to reset behind the net with less than three minutes to go coming in on the first period. Turn around went out by the Flyers, bring the puck to the board. It just went out by the Montreal Canadiens, packed the puck to the left side. Now they're coming back, dumping the puck all the way back behind uh, Jones. The puck uh, bouncing behind the net and recovery from Montreal. Show the puck just barely missed uh, Jones about that one there. Turn around out by the corner and a little bit too far for Harvey Pinal. The Flyers run the puck outside the zone. It just separated the Montreal Canadiens. It's going to be Whiteman drive the puck to the corner, recovery right there by Pit Lake, I believe, turn around by the defenseman of the Flowers, going to reset and they're going to regroup and coming to the neutral zone. Tom Peter Park to get behind Carey Price, going to go. New players coming for the Flowers, going to reset. Come on up for now. Winning right now behind the net. No, it's Clegg. Clegg right now winning with Petri, uh, with Edmondson. Pass the puck, D to D, uh, Emerson used the board. All the way back in the toy zone, intercepted up by the Flyers. They turn around and coming back right there. Shoot the puck, Edmondson recover the puck. Edmondson keep the puck for himself. Lab the puck in the toy zone, no chance. Again, another gave away. That's what happening since the beginning of this game, guys. We just gave the puck. It, it, it's just like boring game, honestly, but it is what it is. We'll make some action and excitement with that. The puck dropped behind Price. Uh, recovery went out by Glag. He's still on the ice. Uh, turn around again by the Montreal Canadiens. The puck go behind turn the side. Can you put this puck outside the zone, please? Uh, the puck go to the Perro. Perro dropped the puck to the side. Jumping went out by Anderson. Puck to John. John ran the puck around to um, the Flowers. Intercept went out by Carfield. Carfield battle for the puck. Turn around right side. Bring the puck to the blue line. Petru is coming. He's he looking. Pass the puck. Love the puck for Zuski, missed the puck completely, turn around the ground all the way back to Carfield. Carfield intercepted the puck, Carfield keep the control of the puck, Carfield change the direction, Carfield, we have a now a delay offside and a, a penalty for the Flowers. A recovery for the Montreal Canadiens, one minute less to go. Anderson got hit, and finally the Flowers uh, go to the penalty box for two minutes for elbow. That's what the call for the ref by the number 27, and the Montreal is going to use his first power play of the night. Uh, again, the flowers, and that's what we got at that moment. Uh, so that's what we got. Here we go. We we'll just put Nooner in the penalty box. That's what's happening. Mr. Stephen Manberg, welcome back in the house. It's a curse, not uh, free the likes. Uh, don't forget to click on the likes. Beaucoup de pluie et nature par nature, pas sûr que quoi faire encore. And now face up on the right side on Martin Jones. Uh, that's what we at at that moment. We're we'll going to wait for the puck drop uh, and go from there. And the Flores Thompson get out. Waiting right now. Can Devarek win the face off? Take about one minute, just put the back, back down. Thank you, Jet and Zubot, Joseph Laham. Recovery went out, Glagu. Glagu passed the puck to the right side and come back. Why Glagu is down that one? Pitley draw the puck in front of the net. Uh, Gallagher's coming for the net. Miss the puck, shoot the puck right there. Back again to Glagu at the blue line. Glagu passed the puck to the left side. Is it Hoffman? I'm not sure. Pass the puck, keep the puck for himself. Bring the puck to the blue line. Back to Hoffman, I believe. It's not Hoffman. I don't know where is it. Pass again over Pitlick. Pitlick control the puck. Looking for the, uh, at the blue line. Back to Glagu. Fire! Another passing right there. Looking right there at the blue line. Keep the puck right there. It's Hoffman, like I said. Hoffman right now. Pass the, the, dump, but the bumper back to Gallagher. Rim the puck all the way back again. 20 seconds to go remaining on this uh, period. Now it's Pitlick. Pitlick back to Gallagher. Back to Pitlick. Pitlick to Glag. Glag looking right now. Pass to Hoffman. Fire! Missed the puck completely. Gallagher recovered the puck. Back to Pitlick. One more time to go. 10 seconds to go. Pitlick coming under Hoffman. Hoffman to Klagu. Klagu fire again, Hoffman. Oh, he hit the crossbar. Oh, my God. The puck go all over the net. He hit the crossbar. Hit the post. Get out of that way. And that's my goodness. We missed that one over there. Are you kidding me? OMG. Crossbar, the post. The puck get out of the net. Uh. Oh my god Wow Three poles in the last 10 seconds
The Panthers 3 1, by the way. Nine shots versus seven there. Are they all good to put the puck in there? <laughs> Montreal are good to put, hit the, the post. It's very hard to hit the post. It's, not, it's too hard to put the puck in the net. It's too big. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Stagey. <laughs> Bonsoir, Yamou Vertenin. Welcome back. Let's see what's going on around the league. The Panthers 3-1 after 1. 0-0 Devils. 1-0 the Penguins. And the Jets take the lead. 2-0 Ken Carolina. And the New York Rangers take the lead. Andrew Cup. I love this kid. Score. And take the lead. 1-0 again. Islanders. That's what we had at that moment, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see who put the butt at uh, GVR score. 22 of the year. Power play is over. Huffman, 12. Back up score again. Yep. Oh, congratulations, seven. Uh, did Gelly get an assist? No, it's the rack. <laughs> Mr. Alan Vianco, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. Jose Duarte, welcome back. Wow. I'm going to take a break, guys, because I'm here since like five or six o'clock. I'll be back about two minutes, three minutes. Don't go nowhere. I apologize. I need to get there. Uh, about that one over there, and I'll be back very shortly. Don't go nowhere. Uh, you make my day. 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 You make my day.
Kop again, uh, Yamu said. I went got a goal. Uh, wow. Hey, Gator, where's the game? I cannot find a game, Gators. I was going to text you. An attack coach of the Montreal Canadian Jose said, uh, yep, he should. Don't forget to click on the likes. Mr. Alan Barnes, welcome back. Um, I don't think so, I know. Look like the net was not out. Thank you, Nuner. So what more I'll call it? Um, da, 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 da. not this one here. Just I pick a Brendan Point is on the ice for the pregame warm up. Yamo said, Oh, Yamo, that's not good news. Team now said point is a deal with a lower bubble. Have a hope is not going situation. Yamo said, "Wow, uh, Kelly Vohan, welcome aboard. Uh, I've been back and forth on ice. Uh, let's go, friendship. Be head coach, uh, Jose." <laughs> Two zero for the Rangers at that moment. Uh, back up, need two more uh, 440. You have 38 about that. Um, uh, Karen shot 17 cents, but again, they cannot score. You almost said. U18 uh, tournament this weekend. Uh, bad call, but the ad need a break. Uh, I go with you about that one over there. Alan, welcome back, by the way. I like Nemec, Park me said. We still in the game. Yep, we are. That's where we at.
Uh, if I lead under two to the left, uh, I will give you a little bit of information about where we're at with the score. Uh, about the, the, after the 20 minutes, guys, the face off Montreal at 59% versus 41 for the Flowers. Uh, the number they hit, 11 for the Flowers, Montreal is at four. The black shot, Montreal, 10 black shot, the Flowers is at seven. And finally, the giveaway uh, puck so far, Montreal turned the puck seven times versus only three times for the Flowers. They are the start, the start of the first period between the Montreal Canadian and the 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 um, the flowers at that moment. Uh, that's what we are. Let's go starting. I'm going to bring quickly. Uh, I think um, I think uh, Andrew will stop by for about two minutes to give him his impression about the game, about that one. Welcome back, Mr. Andrew. Hey, how's it going, Coach? How's everybody doing? Enjoying the game? Pretty good. Uh, just quickly, because I know we all go be back right away. Uh, what do you think yeah. your uh, your information about your impression for the first period? Didn't like the way we started out. They had the majority of that first period, really, that they were all over us. And I didn't like the way uh, Clegg definitely was messing up. And Price kind of mishandled it a little bit, too. But Clegg mostly. Uh, just they were all over us, and then at least the last seven minutes we we started coming on. But uh, Pitlick has got to start shooting. The, the amount of chances we had going down the ice with two on ones, he's got to start shooting the puck. Yeah. Um, for me, is like you know, I was not a good period, honestly. Price not looking good at all tonight. Uh, no, he's not. Like, uh, oh my god, uh, very bad. bad turn over and uh, take a penalty after that. Uh, then yeah. finally, the last thing I would say is Ren Pit Lake. A two versus one, two time, bad pass. Yep. A third one, a three versus one, uh, every time. Uh, at the end, we hit the post three times. The puck did not go in and we did lucky on the goal. We have a pass ends. Nobody saw that one over there. Uh, but um, it's not, it's pretty boring hockey game. Uh, no execution. It's not a yeah. full speed. Uh, it's just two teams going to get out of the, the end of the season. Oh, yeah. And, you can uh, definitely see. We, we think Montreal is not looking good. It's looking worse and flowers at that moment over there. It's not great, I'll be honest with you. You're right. Both teams don't look really all that sharp. Yep. Um, Renault, yes. Uh, if Montreal have a choice, I would take Slavoski, uh, the way he plays right now. Uh, right now, at that moment, he have an amazing, great, 10 days over there. He hit, he scored. Uh, he's looking great yeah. over there. Uh, I yeah. think for me, I will go with I would Slavoski, number two. Um, yes. I would prefer to I be agree. number three because if there's number two, take Slavoski, you take Cooley. So for me, it's right. Slavoski, Cooley, Nemec yeah. after that. That's my fourth choice exactly. uh, about exactly. that. The random hockey fan, welcome aboard. Why do not have Aris in the lineup? Yeah, well, they're they're just rotating, getting a look at different players. Like they said, St. Louis said he was going to do that. He just wanted to get a better look at to see how they were going to fit in. And I don't think it looks too promising for Clegg. <laughs> uh, the, the best answer is this part. They know already Jordan Harris is going to be a Laval Rocket next year. That's it. They know already. For that season, yeah. So they don't yeah. have to reevaluate him, just give some reps. That's it. They want to see really Clegg yeah. go over there. Um so at the end of the day, they, they have to figure out, do we keep him? Do we keep Schoenemann? Right. Because you have Schoenemann, Larkinson, and Glagu. There are three over there. They have yeah. to keep only one of the three on my eyes. I'd That's be it. keeping Schoenemann. I'd be keeping Schoenemann under those three. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the best comments. It looked like the kind of an AHL game. Oh, yeah, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it really does look that way. Rentam hockey fan, welcome aboard. And uh, hopefully first oh. one carry price. Yeah, I expect about that. Hopefully also about this one of that. Joe, I will be winning. Do you need a 6 4 one girl who can score consistency? Um, uh, I think uh, I think the older player told St. Louis to relax last night and embrace the tank uh, about that one. How many times did they have the sick lag and the black uh, and a tap? Uh, uh, yeah, I understand that in our top, but still, 
uh, I think they want to sharing everything right now. They, it's not a matter of the energy, where they at at that moment anyway. Um, yeah. But um, yeah. it is what it is. Exactly. They're going to get a they're going to get a top four pick the way that yep. the way it's set up. So that's a good news, right? Um, Pittsburgh Boston better a game. I think I would like to see Toronto. Uh, but I cannot say it right now. What do you think about, uh, what's your impression, second period? What do you expect? What do you need the Montreal to do uh, oh to my get God. better? Well, uh, of course, they got to play better in their, their own end, but they got to keep the heat on. And this, you know, now they got to start capitalizing on their chances. You can't play around with the puck. If, if, if guys like Pitlick get breaks, they got to take a shot. Stop playing with it. You know, that's really what they got to stop doing. And hopefully, uh, you know, even pricey, can calm well he's not really not calm it's just that he's mishandling the puck a little bit little little behind on his reactions wow andrew Fultz just said three zero rangers three gold andrew cup wow nice nice gotta like it <laughs> uh nice. one question is back is enough to make the postseason with ellis renault and uh, now renault flowers are eliminate already and uh Kuchy yeah. is out until the end of the season like Ren Ellis, uh, Renault. We have a one-minute yeah. power play. Uh, Alan Sell would be interesting how they can do that. Uh, about that second goal, Pry was not there. Uh, Renault, yeah. no, it was the first one, Renault. Renault uh, the yeah. first one beside the post, it was really the bad one over there. The second one was like a, a shot. I'm sure he would like to see again, but uh, yeah. that's what we had at that moment. Exactly. All right, it was a short one. The second pair is going to start right away. I will see you after We're the 20, uh, 40 minutes, Mr. Uh, Andrew. Stop. Thank you so much to stop by. Sounds good. Enjoy Thank the you. period. It was Andrew Lepage, directly for the Hockey Nation Live Show, um, to give us some uh, perspective of what happening during the first uh, period. We're going to restart the second period at that moment. We're going to set up the second period on the top. Uh, here we go. And uh, enjoy and see if Montreal can come back uh, during that period, uh, we have also uh, a couple of one minute, like uh, Andrew uh, Adam said, we have still on power play at that moment. Uh, here we go. The puck winning went up by the flowers, try to get up by the round. The puck go all the way back on the defensive zone and back to Carfield with the ski. Uh, Whiteman uh, uh, going to reset at that moment. And Whiteman with a puck went out, change his direction, skating right now. Whiteman keep the puck for himself. Throw the puck to under the side to Caulfield. Another bad play to reset the puck. Back to Zuski. Zuski to red line. Zuski is coming now. Zuski control the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield lose the puck at the blue line. And the puck go on the bench. Another bad play. And I don't know what's going on with Zuski. I don't know what's going on with Caulfield. But... Um, Twenty-two game for Mike Hoffman with now goal. This is the longest uh, sequence of the Mike Hoffman during his career. The longest one was fourteen and thirteen and twenty-five was that one there. About this, uh, no, no, brother, you did not stop it. Uh, the part winning part of Montreal Canadiens and uh, Zuski back uh, to Carfield. Carfield now to Whiteman. Carfield recovered the puck. Carfield winning right now. Back to Whiteman at the blue line. Whiteman walk back to Carfield. Carfield's looking now. Looking back for himself. Bring the puck goal line to Anderson. Back to Carfield. Carfield back to Anderson behind the net. Back again to Carfield. Carfield keep the puck good goal line right now. Carfield changes direction. Back to Whiteman. Whiteman looking back. Back to Zuski. Zuski fire the puck. Uh, tip in front of Anderson. No chance. The puck go back to Carfield. Five seconds to go remaining. Whiteman to Carfield. Carfield's coming now. Coffee looking back to Whiteman. Fire! Rebound. No rebound. Stopped by the goaltender. And that's it for the power play. Montreal have only one shot during that power play. Under the fact they hit a couple of poses. Uh, and we will be in our even strength. And that's what's happening about that. Uh, yeah, look like he's injured. Uh, no. So up on the left side of Mountain, uh, it was not allowed to take a uh, break. Um, here we go. Winning right now, but the Flyers battle right now uh, a gun, around. And finally, Stanham bring the puck to the side. Uh, Kevin Hayes, great the cup of duck. Now the Flyers coming now. The captain's coming. Uh, not captain. Carry Price make a serve the blocker. Recovery right now by... Um, and funny net for the Flowers. Great sale by Jeff Petrie. Pass the puck to the left side. Now Montreal attacking right now. At three versus three. Uh, Pinal bring the puck to Jake Evans. Turn around right there. Throw the puck to the blue line. Intercept by the Flowers. Flowers coming now on offensive zone. Gain the puck to Kevin Hayes. No penalty maybe for the Montreal. Fire the puck at Carey Price. 
have a save, and then we have a power uh, power play for the Flyers. Uh, interference by my pet uh, at that moment, and we're going to restart on the right side of Carey Price. Uh, Jeff Petrie, I don't know what he was thinking about that one over there, but uh, I can call it for my uh, living room. Uh, Penicio on that, yep, Bert, 3-2 cats. Uh, wow, quel Bertozzi score. I agree, MLS need to ban Suzuki. Pourquoi risk getting him a further? The season is over. Winnipeg 2-0 in our tap. Uh, yep. Go abs, go. Random hockey. The puck right now winning by the Montreal. This is key. Don't be the puck behind it. Martin John is going to be reset right away over there. The puck right now recovered by Keith Yandel. Yandel now control the puck. Keith the puck, draw the puck behind. And now the flowers coming back all the way back on the throw zone. Speed up with my helm. Draw the puck to the left side. And recovery right now by the flowers. Run the puck around the board all the way back to under the side. And intercept by uh, the left winger. Bring to Kendall. Keith Yandel. Yandel bring the puck to the left side. Now the flowers looking right out. Uh, turn around the Ash Mike. Back to Yandel. Yandel walk in in the middle. Pass the puck to the right D. Now looking. Pass the puck to the line. Strike get a puck in front. Bryce make a save. Coming out. Battle for the puck in the corner. And the finale. The Montreal recovery the puck. They are coming almost like a two versus one. Now to the right side. Fire the puck. Uh, Martin Jean make a save. Uh, Zuski drop the puck all the way back behind. Carry Price. Uh, and we have a, almost like one minute to go remaining. On the penalty, Sava recovery puck to pass to right now to a pit leg. Pit leg should the puck miss the net belly, drop the puck for the flowers right now. Let peep the puck all the way back behind it. They're going to regroup, chase it by the Montreal Canadian. Tyler pit leg makes some pressure. Great play by pit leg. Now turn around right now, but the flowers coming offensive zone. All the way back to Ash Mark. Connect me, bring the puck to the blue line. Keep the puck right there, drop the puck behind, back to Paranav. Pass the puck to the right side, now for the flowers in front of the net to pit leg. Connect me. Fire the puck two, three time. And the uh, carry prize. Uh, stop the puck. Fire! And the puck to change the direction to the left side to connect me. They have 30 seconds remaining on the power play. Connect me. Bring the puck to the blue line. Back to connect me. Connect me right now. Wicking, looking. Connect me. Back to the bumper. Back again to Aparov. Back again to connect me. Connect me. Pass the puck to the D. It's coming to the other opposite side. Now looking right now at the Ash Mac. Flash looking. Keep the puck for himself. Got the round over the other side. Keep the puck to the blue line. Back to connect me. Nothing's coming now. Fire the puck. Black shot by the Montreal Canadiens. They go to back. And now the Montreal coming back. Tyler Pitlick. A one versus one. Power play is over. Pitlick try to get a puck around. Pitlick keep the puck for himself. Intercept by the Flyers coming back. And he's going to go outside of the pack over there. Uh, four shots on the power play for the Flyers. Again, carry Price. Uh, and we'll go to reset on the left side. Montreal have a new plus coming on the ice. Uh, and finally, Whiteman drive the puck to the under opposite side. The puck go behind uh, Mar Martin John. Recovery for the Flyers. Uh, paddle right now, chasing by Jake Evan. The puck go to under the side. Gallagher try to get a puck. No chance for him. But the Flyers going to lob the puck all the way back on the 12th zone. Split by Whiteman. Pass the puck. No call for Asing. Recovery by Hoffman. Hoffman pass the puck to the right side. Jake Evan lose the puck. Battle right now. Flash recovery pucks on my breakaway. Oh, carry Price make a save. The puck turn around right there by Gallagher. Use the board, pass the puck. Great play by Jake Evan. Now Jake Evan by himself. Dump the puck behind. New plus coming for the Montreal Canadiens. Called by Martin Saint Louis. The puck go behind the net of the Martin Jones. He's coming now and they are attacking right now. Pack the puck neutral zone. Turn the puck on the left side. The puck go to Ned Thompson. Drop the puck behind. Kid up some Thompson. Bring the puck behind the net. That's chased by Saval. The puck for the Flowers are the right side. Carry Price. Ramanav. We find it by recovery pack back to Carfield. Carfield to Saval. Saval to Ziski. They are break out when I was coming. Ziski keep the puck. Then it was on. And off a season. Ziski try the puck to Carfield. Carfield the blind. Fire him enough. He missed the timer. Now the flash coming. At three versus one for the flower. At two versus one. He's coming. Fire the puck. And the, over the right shoulder, uh, carry Price, but the puck go to the side. The flyer recovery the puck right now behind carry Price. Looking right now on the right side, carry Price. Keep control. Protect the puck. Bring the puck behind him. Recovery. Fire the puck. Carry Price make a save. Nobody check the player in front of the net. Uh, OMG. Carry Price make a big save right there in front of GVR. The Montreal on defense is on one. It's Carfield. It's his key. It's not looking good, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. <laughs> So on the right side is Jake, uh, the carry prize. You can lose the face. So recovery by, by, by the Montreal Canadiens. It's 
Pin out, pass up on the right side. Matos coming through the system, pack the puck in the back. He's coming right now, find the puck. Black shot, the puck good on the other side, all the way back. There's Jeff Petri, Petri waiting right now. Shoot the puck in for the Hit the Jeff Petri score, it's 2 to 2. For the Montreal Canadian, tips the puck in front of the net. And that win the Montreal Canadian tie the game at 2 2. Jake Evans. Yeah, it was tip. Great play by uh, Pinal in front of the net. What a tip. What a tip by Jake Evans. Uh, face up at the left side of Martin Jones. It's 12 of the season, by the way, for Jake Evan. Hoffman, uh, 12, Evans, 12 tonight. Great to see Jake Evans score. Well done. Come back from an injury again after a uh, uh, petit frère beau jeu. Wow, impressive. Simon Deschamps, I agree with you. Now I'm going to try to keep it on the right side. I'm going to try in front of the net. Lose the puck in front of the other side. Recovery the puck at the blue line. Now the flyers coming back. Turn around right there. They are coming in one versus one. Connect is coming. Fire the puck. Carry Price make a save with a left shoulder. Turn around right now. Put a bit three. Put three. Lob the puck in the zone to under the side. Montreal pick up the puck. Break away. Martin Joe make a save. It was Poland. Cannot control the puck very well. But the turn around right there. We have some, some excitement right now for both teams. They are coming back to another way. It's Miku win right now in front of Romana, uh, in front of Glag. Turn around right there. By the Flyers, the four line out on the ice right now. The Flyers control the by the Ash Mark on the left side of Carey Price. Back to the right side. Defenseman shoot about. Black shot went up by Perro. Turn around right now by uh, Whiteman. Perro is tired already or he's hurt. The puck turned around right up on the Montreal Canadiens. They turned the players and the players coming back on the neutral zone. They attack him right now, bring the puck. We have a, foul, a couple of players right there. Uh, the, the flip. And the, oh my God, Carey Price. The players take the lead back again. What's going on with Carey Price? Lime home. Wow. Carried Price. Whew. Wow. I don't know what's going on. Three goals and 14 shots, 15 shots maybe. Carried Price. Ouch. A uh, broken play, and uh, that way, after the Montreal, I have a, a great setup. Price gave the puck again to the Flyers. Oh, my God. Now the puck on the another side. Control the puck right there. Pass in the back door. Shoot the puck. Price make a save. Turn around right there. Get a girl finally down the puck. Montreal come back, but again, the goaltender, Montreal, does not do their job for another time for the Montreal Canadiens this season. It's not Carey Price. It's Montembeau. It's not Montembeau. It's another one. It's a really difficult year for the cold dental for the Montreal Canadian. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, you know. Anyway, I don't know what he's doing in the net tonight. Price trade value just went down and kind of tap. Uh, yep. It will be back in full four. Yep, it will be back next game again. Let him have a good time. High stick went out for the flowers. And we have a TV timeout at that one.
Here we go. RJ gave us some uh, update. 2-0, uh, 3-2 Florida over Detroit. Zozo, Devils, Buffalo. 2-0 Pittsburgh. 2-0 Winnipeg. 3-0 Rangers after one. Uh, gonna smoke again. That's uh, intermission. It's my smoke. No, no, said. Love, Bussy. Welcome back. Love, Bussy. And the house. Uh, Yeah, look, c'est ça les fans de Montréal héros un jour. Hein? Yeah. Uh, you have a crazy skill, <laughs> skill yes. Uh, Joseph, I, I'm very talented. Ça, tu sais, ce qu'on te dit, comme on a last comment, I do was to two. Quand I think is, I took piss but you were right. Uh, I told you what to do and not up. You don't listen to me. Um, it is what it is, uh, anyway. To the Vilta, it will even out uh, and not tap. Uh, yeah, I took uh, Buffalo. Well, is Danny not a true leaf? And now, Kelly, the power now recovery behind the net uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. They're still losing now by 1 3 to 2. Montreal, we go. Anderson control the park, pass the park to the left side, control the, uh, to the Caulfield. Caulfield looking right now, pass the park to Ziski, recovery right now. Ziski control the park, back to Caulfield, the goal line. Caulfield's coming up. Bring the power there, change the direction, Carfield control, back again to Anderson, and funny net, uh, no change, the recovery by the Flyers, uh, the power go outside the zone by the Flyers, great play by the Flyers to steal the power to Josh Anderson, the power go behind the net, uh, Jeff Petrie, uh, we are uh, 11 minutes, a little bit over, remaining on the second pair, long stretch pass by Petrie, the power go in the corner, but we're going to hit all the way back, uh, and the fans, uh, uh, we have a, um, we have a whistle uh, on the, Right side of Martin Jones. Here we go, the puck behind the net, recovery by the defenseman, turn around right now by the Flyers, try to get a puck outside the zone, lose the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. Whiteman turn around and into our zone and recovery by the Flyers. Montreal try to get still the puck, turn around to the side, Pitley try to get the puck on the side, and the Flyers recovery back again to the blue line. Whiteman loses the battle, now the Flyers coming at two versus one, looking behind, and uh, Glag recovery, the puck go all the way back at the blue line, chasing him right now. Uh, by the one to one by the Montreal Canadian controlling right now for the puck and over the carry price and the puck maybe touch carry price and on the shoulder and we're going to reset on the right side of carry price uh, and look like the flowers try to hit the puck high over the shoulder of carry price to jet very and uh, then Ashan welcome aboard thanks to being us with us tonight the Buffalo one New Jersey zero RJ oh Yep, and I thought I do pick again at all the time. Even tonight. Yep. The puck right now on the right side of Carey Price, uh, winning by the Montreal Canadian. Devorak ran the puck behind the Romanov, cannot cap the puck. The puck goes to the left side to Hoffman. Hoffman to Romanov, Romanov to Savard. Savard used the board and for the Gallagher, don't pay the puck all the way. The Flyers going to steal the puck, regroup on the defensive zone, and intercept by Thompson, but it recovered by his teammate, pushing the puck. Romanov steal the puck, the puck go back again. Just a, a comedy of mistake tonight. Welcome to the comedy mistake by Flowers and the Montreal Canadian uh, Buffalo are two out on me at the bottom. And at that is a duly we have proved a picture in honor said uh, the puck go to the left side, recovery, long stretch pass on Montreal Canadian. The puck go to the left side, intercept and out by the Flowers, bring the puck behind the net, chasing one up by Hoffman. And the puck all back, pinched by Savard, but then the Flowers coming. Flowers coming at two versus one for the Flowers at the left side, looking, get it by the back door. Can you make a save? No rebound. Great play by Carey Price on that one over there. We have to give credit. Carey Price make a good save on that one over there. 
and we're going to restart at the right side of Carey Price where we're TV timeout at that moment. Uh, Don't forget, please, to click on the likes. If you don't mind, we have about 75 people, only 68. Some of you did not click on the like. That'd be awesome. Wow, two shot and then on the same power play. Impressive CG set. I miss the old again at the Madison Square Garden, Kevin. And the Faram, uh, I agree with you about that one over there. Oh, we need the, uh, we need the, uh, where's the trumpet? I'm tired now. Just kidding. We need Fernanda Pierre. <laughs> Don't forget to click on the likes, please. We missed some of you. Did not click on the likes. I used to have a trumpet player at the Madison Square again. Who remember uh, Scott, Claude Scott, the trumpet for the Quebec Nordic? I cannot remember his last, how he played, why he was his name. Nobody remember his name? Close cut. And the puck went out from Montreal Canadian, dumping the puck, intercepted by the Flyers uh, at the blue line, turning around right there, losing the puck, but recovered by his teammate, and they're going to get out of the zone, bring the puck behind, carry Price, uh, and we have a whistle out of the way. Uh, yep, uh, let's get one of those tonight, Dan. Yeah, I agree with you. Circus Music Sonar and Dealing Ringling Bowler. Uh, I can see the cat leave the mic, dance a cat. Uh, yep. That's what we had at that moment. Here we go. The power went out, recovery from White Montreal. Don't pay the puck to the left side. Intercept by the wall uh, again by the flowers. It's just like guys passing the puck and lose the puck. Passing the puck, lose the puck. The puck's coming to the right side, carry price again, losing. And then recovery puck, get hit. And recovery puck, uh, Jeff Petrie. Long stretch pass right now. Oh, back to Petrie. I don't know who he had this pass. I think it was his key. Love the, the puck, lose the puck in front of Carfield. Turn around by the flowers. Flowers can hit a zone. Go back to right side. Intercept right now. Uh, pitch controlled by John and Manson. The puck go behind the net by uh, Nick Zuski. He's going to skating with the puck at the goal line. Nick Zuski now drive the puck back to P3. P3 now set up. Uh, 8.42 go to go remaining on the second period. P3 used the board. Pass the puck right there to Anderson. Lob the puck to the right side. Zuski. Zuski control the puck. We now play one to one. Play the puck behind the net on the back ends. It's a seven out by the Flyers and they go to reset. They are coming in the third zone. They keep the puck right there. Control the puck under the offensive zone. Bring the puck to the left side of Clagu. Bring the puck behind the net to White, uh, to Petri or Whiteman. Whiteman used the board. Being pinched by the Montreal Canadian. Possible and how he's saying uh, that's the whistle happening and we're going to restart at the Right side of carry price with uh, less of eight minutes and 17 seconds remaining on the second period. That's what we at. Uh. Here we go. Welcome, uh, Sir Amogus. Uh, game, Martin John make a, a save. We're going to reset on the right side of the uh, left side of Martin John. That's what we had at that moment. Uh, close call was the trumpet player. Yes, Kevin. 
Like you have a name. We got score getters. Um, what's where is the game uh, getters? Mr. Uh, Amagus, uh, welcome aboard. Amagus game. Please hit the bottom. Yep. Click on the likes. Uh, my friend beside me just said right here. Look. Uh, this one over there. Right here. He said, click on the likes. The power went out reconnect by Sahem. It's a out by maybe the Montreal Grenadian. Pit late trying to get a puck in front of Jake Evans. The puck stay in the zone. Finally, puck outside the zone. We have, we have a whistle at the blue line. That's what we at. Uh, Watch it online. Uh, all right, okay. <laughs> but why is not nowhere get us? Why they don't show the game? That's just not make sense to me, but I don't know. The puck turned on by Jake Evan. Jake Evan ran the puck around the board and go all the way back to the blue line. Back to D to D. Ramanov's coming now. Fire! Black shot by the blocker of Martin John. Back to Ramanov. Ran the puck around behind the net uh, to Pit Lick. Pit Lick intercepted the Flyers. Ran the puck around the board. Pinched by right now by Saval. Finally, the Flyers lobbed the puck all the way back. And they are coming now at two versus one. Then they run around the point. Finally, the net. Turn around right there. Great play by Ramanov. Uh, turn around behind the net. Back away to Saval. Saval set up right now. Pass the puck neutral zone. Down. Jake went up on the motorway and is in. Don't pin the puck to the left side. Again, it's not pin by Jake Evan. And finally, New Plus coming from the motorway and is in. And Provorov is going to recover the puck in front of Ram Pit Lake. Uh, looking right out, checking the left, pass the puck to the right side. Situation of breakout. Not Plus coming in the zone. Break away, connect me. Shoot a puck. Hey, you can be. Carry prize. Uh, there we go. Connect me. Score is the four goal of the night. Uh, great shot. On the left side of the carry prize around glove, and that way the flowers take the lead four to two. Hi, Michel Clissy. Welcome aboard. Wow. I don't know. I'm not going to comment anymore about carry price. Yeah, it's baseball, uh, Gators. I'm watching the, you know. Uh, look. Close cut, I might joue à Genève for a game, yeah. Is it the game where he fouled about the glass? I work with him with the Montreal Canadian. Uh, with the Montreal Canadian. I work with him with the Montreal, um, the Montreal uh, Expos, and then I work with him in the USA for other subjects. Now, Coffee's coming on the right side of Martin Coffee to fire the puck uh, over the right shoulder of Jones, uh, and the puck goes all the way back on defense zone. Uh, will it uh, the go for goal better? Eight uh, gave Price a chance. Uh, is only be back a couple of games. Need to knock the Ross. Yep, it is exactly that. Um, no, no. Uh, Steve G. The puck turn around behind the net. Uh, Martin Saint Louis. Uh, Martin Jean drive the puck again. The Flyers bring the puck right now by uh, Tom uh, and Manson. The puck all the way back on defensive zone. The Montreal Canadiens. Patek went out by White, uh, by Petrie, I believe. It turned around by the Flyers. Flyers coming now on the left side. Control the puck. Chase around. It's still by, by uh, Thompson. Bring it by the Caulfield. Caulfield lose the puck again. The John. John drive the puck to the left side. To the defenseman. They break out. Right now the Flyers use the board. Keep the control. Back the puck in the neutral zone. Great play by the Flyers. Coming now on the right side. Shoot the puck. Miss the shot completely by the Flyers. The puck go behind the net. A recovery right now. By the Montreal Canadian Petri. Petri bring the puck to the neutral zone. Use the board over. And now recovery by uh, Montreal Canadian. Petlick's coming on the back door. They shoot the puck and uh, completely lose the puck. And we're going to reset on the left side. Uh, the puck go back the way right there. Uh, battle and Montreal recovery. Montreal try to get a puck in front of the net. No champion puck behind the goal. And there, 
a joint recovery pushing right now. The Flyers win the battle of the 50-50. And then Whiteman pinched the puck right there. And the puck stuck right now with three players around the board. Nobody won the puck. Connect Neil waiting. And also we have also uh, Whiteman. Uh, the puck finally get the get out. And uh, the Flyers coming back. Connect Neil a bit too far. But we're going to be the first one recovery the puck behind Carey Price. Uh, change the direction. Keep the control. Bring the puck to the blue line. Flyers coming out. Go D to D. Reset right now with less five minutes to go. Remaining a second player. Still 4-2 for the Flyers. Take the lead by two now. Connect Nick Nishot, Price make a save, no rebound. That's what we had at that moment. And that's it. Go Canuck, Steve G. Yes, go through as fan. That's right, need through as fan. God, do you agree not that go again? The abs, not cold. She's always big down there. Uh, Buffalo 3 0. Pull Price. Ah. Uh, 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 the Panthers 4 2 with our score. I apologize, I did not mention earlier. Marshman and Orvis got an assist. Uh, Marshman, two point tonight. Uh, Barca, one point. Uh, like Uberdo. The Sabres score. Dallin score. Dallin assisted by Olofsson. Olofsson have two points tonight for the Buffalo. Pittsburgh still lead 2 0. The Jet 2 0 also. Look like uh, the Rangers take the lead 3-1. It's not looking good for the prediction so far for me because we're listening, Mr. Inotap. <laughs> and I saw that coach, no. Uh, Luke Lafortin said no. Kelly Star still cannot believe that anyone, again, the leave fans, uh, no doubt. We have a TV timeout. Don't forget to click on the likes if you don't mind. How many likes we have? 68. Jesus. Will be hard to get 100 tonight. Uh. Uh, Rene, welcome back. Well, I did not miss much. Uh, I just turned in. Rene, no, not really, uh, Mr. Rene. Uh, T-Chat, Jeanne, ils vont, ils vont perdre. Oui, I, I agree with you. Ben d'accord avec toi. T-Chat, Jeanne, welcome aboard. And René and Rich, both of you, welcome to the Hockey Nation Live oh Show. <laughs> the Carolina just score. The Carolina just score on power play, five versus three at the end of the second period. 2-1, uh, that's what we at. Um. Igor, welcome back. Igor Aldadov, uh, welcome aboard. Igor, Jake Hines. Uh, here we go. We have a few people show up. We need some likes. Uh, please don't forget to click on the likes. Thanks, everybody. Face-off winning by the Montreal Canadiens by Devorak. Romanov recovered the puck. Romanov scaling right now. Romanov coming to the neutral zone. Romanov control the puck at the blue line, at the red line. Romanov shoot the puck completely on the opposite side of Martin Jean. Recovered by the defenseman Flowers. Bring the puck to the board. And intercept the puck. Go all the way back in the stand. And we have another whistle. And that's what we're at at that moment. 20 shots for the Montreal Canadiens uh, so far. Hit the likes. Uh, I understand how you feel. Uh, can it not nice way did. Maurice Zeller is a great young player. Getters. I, I love this kid. Tomorrow, Ottawa, Columbus, Seattle, Minnesota. Colorado versus Edmonton. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to do that game tomorrow night, guys. Uh, Colorado, Edmonton tomorrow night. It's set up already. But it was, was through asking to question him. It was in the top line again. Uh, I'm the 66 likes. Uh, thank you so much, Rene. I appreciate it. I was the only one on uh, Facebook watch, so I came on YouTube. Thank you, Alan. Yeah, we're going to cancel at some point Facebook. Nobody watched the game over there. Click on the likes, Mr. Alan. Thanks for joining us. Please uh, uh, the likes by 10 o'clock p.m. The first come in for the zone. Recovery by the Montreal Canadiens, but Kenick needs still the puck behind the net. Uh, at about uh, 4 minutes, 15 seconds to go. Remaining went up by flash through the puck in front of the net. Black Patrick. Um, Black shot by the Montreal Canadiens, puck to under the side, Flyers controlling the puck right there. Now turn around behind the net, in front of the net, Price make a save, recovery by the Flyers, control the puck in front of the net, the puck goes to Price, Price finally stop, put the glove over, and we're going to restart, restart at the right side of the... 
Carey Price. 2-1 Winnipeg. Yep, yep, sir, right, Mr. Yes, Michel. Oui, mon T-Chad. Mon T-Chad. Now we need to Montreal Canadiens to face up. Ramen up, pick up the puck. Pass the puck a little bit too far for Savard. Chasing for the Flowers. Montreal trigger the puck. The turn around right now by Jake Evans. Back to Ramen up. Ramen up put some pressure. Uh, Ramen up tried to play offensive right now. The puck turn around and recovered by the Flowers on the defensive zone. After they lose the puck, they're going to regroup on the defensive. They're going to reset right away, looking right now to go and the trois zone. Don't pick the puck right now. Turn around. Par le Montreal Canadien. Change the direction by uh, Pitley. Pitley pass to Romanov. Romanov lose the puck. Back to the Flowers. Flowers coming in front of Saval. Don't pick the puck in the corner. Chasing right now by the Flowers. And uh, we have two players around the board. Romanov still the puck in front of GVR. Romanov will gain right now. Pass the puck to Saval. Saval to the trois zone. Saval down the point in the trois zone. Behind the skate. Recovery right now by uh, Jake Evans. Jake Evans contre le puck around Martin John. Wrap up. Keep the puck all the way back. Back the puck at the blue line. Intercept by Whiteman. Whiteman's coming now. Whiteman showing in front of the net. Tip of foot. Miss the, miss the, 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 the net or stop by the defenseman. The puck go in the corner. Recovery from the Montreal Canadian. And right now, Saval back to Romanov. Bring the puck to the right side of Whiteman. Whiteman in front of the pack. Shoot the puck in front of the net. Jim Mekase. Rebound. Turn around right there. Pazuski. The puck go to the corner. Chase it by Anderson. Pinch by the defenseman. And Manson. Try the puck by Carfield. Ozuski. Fire! Miss the net completely. Who shoots that puck over there? Back again to Anderson. Anderson set up right now. Fire puck again. Black shot by John, and finally, the puck to the corner, and we have a whistle, we'll go to the start, but again, John make a good save about that one over there, Montreal have a couple of percent, but they did not capitalize on that shot of Josh Anderson. Uh, il a un joueur de police, Romanov, uh, uh, Danny Dessonor, receives for the permission, um, Three one Buffalo uh, New Jersey three one three zero Boston uh, Pittsburgh. Thank you RJ for information. The puck went out. We need to the Montreal Canadiens. Caulfield drives the puck to the left side. Chase went out. Shoot the puck in front of the net. Intercept went out. By the by the, the uh, Flyers drive the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. Romanov recovered the puck back to Whiteman. Whiteman set up the puck went out. Keep the puck for himself. Whiteman used the board. Pass the puck right there to. Uh, Carfield, Carfield is ski, try to get back to Anderson. Can run, control the puck, lose the heads, bring to Carfield. Carfield behind the net, uh, get the puck right now for himself. Carfield on the back ends, turn around, try to take it back, back to ski on the ash mark, just ski at the blue line, just ski looking, bring the puck behind the net in front of Anderson, losing the puck, recovery by the flowers, use the board, and he's going to try to get a puck ourselves on the back ends. They did it, but he put the puck on the bench. And we have to wait right now for the puck drop. The puck door on the right side of the Jones and winning for the Flowers. So less than two minutes remaining on the second period. That's what we had at that moment. The puck turned around right there for the Montreal. Chase the puck in the neutral zone. Reset right now. And but still by Connectney. Connectney's coming offensive zone. Connectney on the left side. Price through the puck. And for the net. But intercept by the Montreal Canadian. Gallagher try to get a puck. Intercept right now by Petri. Petri win the puck around the board. Back to Edmondson on the right side. Price use the board. Back to Hoffman. And finally puck to go to Devarak. Devarak's coming now. Devarak to the blue line. Kick out the puck to Gallagher. Gallagher's coming. Fire the puck. Uh, shoot the puck in front of the net. Nobody. Touch um, and the puck go under the side. Finally, the puck go under the toilet zone. Recovery for the Montreal Canadiens. Still by Kevin Hayes, but not good enough because Mike Hoffman still the puck. Mike Hoffman's coming to the toilet zone in front of Gallagher. Keep the puck to Gallagher. Fire the puck right there. John make a save. No rebound. We're going to reset right away on the left side of the Martin John. That's what we at. Uh, uh, Le Tank is the machine tonight. Okay, you took Anderson and Carolet last time they played the leave. Twenty-nine more likes in our top cell. Don't forget to click on the likes.
Is that Montreal? I uh, got a power bleep. Hey, what happened? Gallagher is leaving. Is the power play Montreal or not? Go leave, go. Paul Gallagher, welcome back, uh, Paul. No, no calling. I don't know what's going on. We have right now Park under the zone, winning by Suzuki. And we play four versus four. That's what's happening right there. Two minutes for each players. The park will by the Montreal Canadiens. Savard pass the park to the right side. Back to Carfield. Carfield try to pass the park now. On the Ramenaf. Ramenaf right now is coming. Drive the park to Carfield. Carfield get a park. Carfield's coming. Turn around. Change this direction. Back to Gramena. Gramena is coming back end. Back to Savar. Savar's looking. Savar on the back end. Shoot the back on the back ends. And save by twice by Martin, Martin Jones. The puck goes to the other side. The flood is coming now. On the right side. Less than one minute to go. Puck losing. Battle. Battle by Gramena. Zuski recover the puck. Zuski get out of the zone. Coming to the neutral zone. Grab the puck for himself. A little bit too far for him. The flood recover the puck. Use the board on the neutral zone. And they're recovering now. And they are coming one versus one. Try to get a puck. Still by the Montreal Canadian. Gramena back the puck to Carfield. With the 11 seconds to go remaining on the end of the second period. That's what we had at that moment. Turn around by the Montreal Canadian. Gramena use the board. Pass the puck. And then the month shows my dad. He shoot. Oh! It was at the last second. And that's it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, after two periods, 40 minutes, uh, the Flyers 4, the Montreal Canadian uh, 2. That was the result after 40 minutes. Uh, what happened is on the second period. Uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, Montreal tie, uh, cut the lead at... 15, Mike Hoffman score. No, not Mike Hoffman. It was 2-1 at the end. Jake Evan tied the game at 528. Uh, score is 12 this season. But a uh, little bit, one minute and 30 second letter, 31. Len Baum score. Len Blom score is 12 this season. And then Connect Me, a uh, little bit, seven minute letter. Uh, gave back the lead by two for the second time for the Flowers tonight. And uh, the shot of 25-26, Avantage Montreal Canadian. That's conclude the resume of the second period uh one power play for the flowers and um, montreal and that's what we had at that moment uh, a lot of time uh, left coach a lot of time left uh, that's what happening about that uh, 25 26 uh, shot are uh, uh seven eighteen. wow 18 time uh, the flowers shot tonight uh, on the second period uh and then the montreal uh, shot um 17 time, a lot of shots during the second period. We're going to set all the all the fists up, all the all the stat on the board. We have 17 right there. We have um, we're going to put right here. I don't know why this is going there. Is it eleven here? The 20 here. We're going to have Mr. Andrew Lepage coming to talk about the, the game the next couple of minutes. And we'll talk about the game for the second period. I tried to set up all the stats over there, 26, 25. Yamo, yeah, not good. And we're going to get that one over there. Let's dive in about that, uh, Mr. Um, Andrew Lepage. Welcome aboard. How's it going, coach? Pretty good. Pretty How's good. everybody doing? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> no not 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 a good period again just it's like you say they want the season over there's no the amount of giveaways i mean our neutral zone play is terrible or in our own and we're terrible price doesn't look like he's even on uh between uh, the giveaways of gallagher and hoffman i don't know and i mean anderson how the heck can you be right there in front of the net and miss the than that by about 18 feet, you know? Yeah, they come back, you know, they tie the game, they play well, they, they come back at the beginning of the second period, they take advantage of the power play, cannot do anything about this, but after that, they score a great shot of P3, tip in front of uh, Jake Haven, tie the game 2-2. Then, unfortunately, one yeah. minute, 37 second letter, uh, 
Lang Blom scores 12 this season, uh, gave back the lead, and then six minutes without Connick Knee. Um, it's a little bit hard for Carey Price tonight. We cannot blame him, honestly. Uh, oh, he's not know, the only one, that's for sure. Uh, he's yeah, just yeah, come right. back, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, a, again, it's that's a repetition of what happens on the season, right? Exactly, exactly. Oh. They're just uh, not not covering very well at all, giving the puck away way too much. Yep. Uh, and our top pair was okay, but Price let in some week one about this. Uh, uh, you Price yeah. is on a regular season form. A goal like Nick Kelly. Uh, zero, zero. Ali, Ali, Ali. Uh, Mike, this is okay. Uh, Johnny Golden, Andrew, did you see Arbor a, a Jack look like uh, Ovi tonight with that snapshot goal from the circle? Yes, he looks good. I like that kid. Yeah, like I say, he's, he's going to be something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, he he's not going to be ready. Unfortunately, it will take him maybe two years. Uh, he need to improve yeah. his skating. Uh, he's 20 years old, That's play with 19, 18, 17. It's not like, you know, you yeah. have to be honest right now. Uh, the kid have some, you know, some upside. Uh, you know, some player never be drafted and uh, have a good career in the NHL. He's not afraid. That's a good thing. He battle. That's a good thing. Uh, you have a good shot. That's a good thing. It's just to adapt in style with the speed of the game and face to the I real that. players. That's what you need yep. to have to readjust. So a uh, fill of uh, two years in American Hockey League, that would be a good set for him um, to get those kind of reps and to adapt with the style, everything like that. So be interesting. But Johnny uh, Montois still that one for sure. He was an undrafted uh, player. Um, yeah. Uh, during the summer, and the Montreal find a way to get him for sure. And we can use them down the road anyway, you know, to toughen our team up. Yeah, definitely, that will be someone they have to look about this for sure. Um, around the league, Panthers 4-2, Sabres 3-1. Uh, we have 3-0 to Pittsburgh over Boston. Uh, the Jet 2-1 oh, wow. over the Corona. 3-1 Rangers over the Islanders. 0-0 Minnesota Wild. Toronto on power play at the end of the period. Look like did not score is 0 0 over there. Um, wow. It's not looking good for the rest of the summer. Uh, of the summer, their next five game, honestly, Andrew. Um, yeah. Now, tonight, the Flyers, but after that, they got Ottawa. They got after <laughs> the, the Boston. And they finally finished with the Rangers and the Panthers. Um, I think that's time to move on, right? I, I agree. I don't, like I said, and you were saying, that, you know, this tonight would be the chance for their win. And I have to agree with you. If they were going to win one, it would have been tonight. The rest of them, I don't see it. I don't see a win coming. Yeah, definitely about that one over there. Uh, I don't see, you know, how they can finish strong. And, on, uh, you know, if the, if the, I don't want to do be like the, the guy, like Nick has said, but if they lose tonight, right, uh, yeah. that push Flowers all the way up. From them, yeah. that seven point um, that we that we gave Montreal to finish 31 uh, for sure, and then Good. maybe 32 depends Arizona that what they're going to do for the rest of the season. Honestly, uh, yeah. So expect Montreal to pick up worst case four. Yeah, that's and what then I'm expecting. After that, you can be three, two, and one. Honestly, yeah. I oh, think wow. uh, I think I think Arizona is going to take thirty-two. I just think they're they're playing just as bad as us, but I don't see any wins for them either. Coming, <laughs> uh, Jack is eligible is eligible to play in Laval for the playoff. Would you call him up? Why not? Why not? I mean, I would have no problem with giving him some experience. Let yeah. him, you know, be on the lower end of things. Yeah, I give let him get some. Yeah. Uh, and then Alan said uh, we could finish the season with 11 straight loss. Well, that's the way it's going to go. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that's the way it's going to go. Uh, it could happen that way. Mr. Saul Nelson, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Welcome, Saul. Uh, thanks to be a part of the show. Don't forget to click on the likes for everybody. Um, what a little bit, you know, we have a couple of more minutes to, uh, to conclude the, the call right now for the second period. Um, yeah. What years you what you expect from the Montreal after that? Um, you know they're going to take a little bit, like a one month off. You have the playoffs. You're not going to have a lot of action. Laval Rocket about over right now for the playoff spot. 
uh, that was some, something to look around for sure uh, yeah. for the, everybody to watch this game. Um, but um, what your expectation after that, like during the off season? What do you do? The first priorities uh, priority for the Montreal Canadian. I think I think you're going to definitely see them try to do something with the Weber contract. There's no doubt in my mind. I think that's going to be their first goal. Now, whether they can get anything done, I don't know. Uh, next step is going to be Jeff Petrie. They're going to try to get that deal settled and, uh, you know, maybe get something back that they can rely on in the future because he's not happy there. They're going to try to just get that out of the room. But I think after that, you're going to see a lot of movement. I really think there's going to be about four guys moving on. Yeah, exactly. Alan said the month when we have 13.5%. That's what they are for the first, second pick. The chance for the, you know, to get a pick is 13% for sure. Uh, yeah. I, I picked New York and those them. Uh, Kelly said about that one over there. Um, after that, like, What do you think they will do after that? Like, what kind of trade are looking to get? Are they looking for a UFA? Uh, they're probably going to look for one or two, possibly, possibly. Uh, one for sure. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on how it all works out with who we unload, too, because I, I see Hoffman gone. I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I think they will get him traded. Uh, I think Joel, Joel Armia is probably going to get the door as well. So there's another two players and, you know, whoever is going to be the next one, I don't know. After that, it gets really tricky because we can't seem to unload the contracts after that. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I can see us going for one or two. I'm not sure if they can able to sign player because they have no money. That's <laughs> going to be the problem. If they don't unload some of the contracts. Not, I don't know how they can do that. That's my problem. Yeah. No, I agree. If they can't unload a contract or two, they're going to be having problems. Because the only one they can is P3, right? Yeah. And yeah. after that, and that's not helping the situation. They would be still over $81.5 million. Right, right. So that's not helping their case to get more players. No, so, um, but I do, I do know that they've been talking like they're really focusing on Weber's contract. They're really focusing on that. So that would cost them a second round pick. You know what? You might have to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You might well, just yeah, have to do it. Yeah, but that's not helping them at all. Well, I mean, you're freeing up cash eventually, right? His, his contract from, from our books. Uh, no, but my point is like they get Weber out, right? The only thing yeah. open up is they want to going to get P3 Uh, out that way, or they, oh, yeah. because they're yeah. all over the cap. So the Weber does not help a lot of Montreal Canadian at the end of the day, and they lose a second round pick. For me, I'm not. I don't like to give a second round pick for nothing. It just gave away. Yeah, that's not yeah. give them a good advantage to use that money. Not that's true. during the time yeah. they are. They have at the end of, at the sending anyway. The purpose yeah. behind that. What's the purpose? Try to win? I don't see why they try to win next season. Why are they going to be again at the bottom, the 20 to 25? Oh, exactly. I mean, I think that's going to be uh, the players that are on the ice. Petrie is going to be number one that they're going to try to get rid of. Then I see it being uh, Hoffman. And then, like I said, Armia. And then they're going to have to wait till Joanne plays a bit, but he will go next season. What about Gallagher? Do you think, what, what, what's the situation? We know today Gallagher talk at the press conference. He talk about you have a bad year, everything like that. And, uh, you know, he wants to be ready for next season. He's going to take a walk on it, everything like that. But I don't believe that Gallagher is, is, is over. I think so, too. I think Gallagher, he, you're not going to get any more out of him. I think there's bigger problems with his, the way his injuries have left him, you know, Time takes its toll on the body, hard minutes. And uh, honestly, I don't, you know, he'll be more rested. I don't think it's going to change his game a whole lot. I think he's, uh, you know, it's sad to say, he's pretty much done. But got to go, what, is it like a 20 goal, a 15 goal? No, he's not going to get that anymore. I don't think, I don't see that out of Gallagher anymore, to tell you the truth. Unless, you know, by some fluke that L.A. wants him, which would surprise me, you know, maybe he can rekindle something there with Deneau, 
But well, I don't why see Why he will 15 over there? Why we cannot give him 15 goals here? The no, problem, we're too bad. The way you talk right now, it's not, uh, it's, you said he would be better with that San game. Why we cannot give him the chance? No, 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 no. I'm not saying he will be better. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying he, they do us a favor by taking him. <laughs> but I don't think he'd be that much better, to tell you the truth. I really don't. I think I think Galley's he just doesn't have the speed anymore and he doesn't have the hands uh, shooting see, wise ask, anymore. Uh, who either. win in the playoff, the Blues or the Wild? That's going to be a great series, but I give the Blues an upper hand. I go with the that. Blues, me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Johnny Golden ask, do you think Golden would buy someone out? Who will buy someone out? He asked, do you think he can buy someone out like Bayron, Armia, Gallagher, or I think, or whatever they are? I think, uh, you know, th this is the other thing we don't know. We don't know what uh, Byron's thinking right now either. Byron might just decide to, to retire because I've been hearing rumors that they do want to, they got, they want to keep him in the organization. So if they can talk him into retiring, maybe that's something you free up, right? Uh, how does Weber contract cost us if we keep him in retire? Is this Nigel pay or Nigel Kim as a pick? Um, it, it, the problem in our tap is NHL does not want this fix the problem. So what they do right now, they don't want to Nigel be penalized about a salary cap. That's the reason they don't put him on the retire. That's what happening. So they will have to figure out that one over there at some point uh, with mm -hmm. the situation. Yeah. Um, is that the guy said Gallagher and Los Angeles? I don't know why Los Angeles would want him. I, I agree. I agree, but they, there's an awful lot of talk coming from there, but I don't know how true any of it is. I hear a lot of rumors, but truth, who knows? Five minute power play for the Panthers. I know I wouldn't be interested in him. If, if I was another team, I would be looking at him and saying, you know what, buddy, you were great in your day, but. No, we don't want that. You know, he, really, it'd be nice if he'd hang it up. Don't see it. Uh, Lex, I never thought I would say losing my Talti and my very sad to see. Yeah, it is. It is. It's uh, it's tough. But, you know, again, I think we're, we're, we're missing it. You know, we knew this team was this bad. I think we all got, you know, we, we kind of forgot when just because Martin came in. He wasn't going to be Jesus Christ in that team. You know what I mean? He was good. Yes, he was going to change the mentality a bit. But that whole team, there's a lot of work to be done. We got to accept that it's going to be rough periods. Uh, and I thought how this work is this part. So we was at $91 million. Now we trade Likonen, Shariat, Kulak, right? So he saved about $8 million. But you have to put after that carry prize over the salary cap. So he did not... Yeah. You did not save money. It was right. on the on the on the long term reserve with uh, Weber, and that's the Weber. reason. And the only way you yeah. put price back because you have to put Jonathan Dwayne on the long term reserve that open up an extra five million dollars. So that's what happening yeah. about that. Uh, yeah. The Blues said that the number uh, the Blues have the number. Gallagher is like yeah. a concrete skate now. Is that yes. Blues to the final. Uh, do you think they just need more toughness on defense? Uh, I don't think so, Jim. They need more potentially a better first uh, defenseman number one. Uh, yeah. Cook one percent Gregor and twenty for a uh, stream. Fifty one for Gregor tonight. Uh, the Rangers looking good over there. Five to one the Rangers. Biron Amir Avman for sure won't be back. Uh, Alan. Yeah, I I do. I think uh, I honestly I'm not sure about Byron, but I I'll, I again I'm saying that he may be considering retiring. You know, knowing the type of guy he is, and especially if the Habs are going to want to give him something within the organization, he might just do it because he knows he's just getting injured left, right, and center. Yeah. But, uh, Francois, it's not Bergevin. Bergevin run the team over there, so I don't know what he will need to take a sixth guy with him uh, about that yeah. one over there. So, uh, yeah. how do you think the word came out from upset to slow down to get a good position for the draft pick? 3-2 the Buffalo now again the Devils. It's going to another they are. Uh, good to let you go. The third prayer is going to start, and I will see you a little bit after the game. Right on. Enjoy it. We'll talk. Thank you so much. Good job, buddy. 
It was Andrew Lepage, uh, directly from the Inside of the Hockey Nation live show. We're going to restart the third period right now. And we're going to follow up uh, the next 20 minutes. He will be back with us for the comments of the game tonight about that. I don't know where to start. I have, I have the old down the lineup. It's 5-2 the Caps uh, at the fire of the Panthers. Hey, Coach Frenchie, how you ping? Mr. Dave Zucker, welcome about Guys, don't forget to click on the likes. That would be awesome. And the puck's going to drop in the next couple of seconds. About that, Biron retired. Petri Price, of and Amir, or maybe Gary, all gone. About that, uh, 24 goal for Sammy Renard, uh, Gator said. Wow, what a game, what a performance for him. Uh, about that, and welcome back, Mr. Uh, Dave Zucker, uh, hat trick Steve. Um, had happening many times. Uh, Detroit 2, Florida, like to turn around, no way I'll discourage. Michel Clissy. Uh, we, no, we all discourage. Um, about that, thank you so much, everybody. Don't forget to click on the likes. I'll be interested. The Flyers recover the pucks coming now in the defensive zone. 20 back, turn around to the left side. And the flyer recovery pack back to the blue line. A four versus four for 25 seconds. Price make a save. Turn around right now. Uh, by uh, Kevin Hayes. Control the puck all the way back in the corner. Keep the puck deep in the zone. And the pack at the blue line. The flyer shoot the puck tip. And carry Price make a save. I'm going to restart on the right side of carry Price. Uh, left side of carry Price possible. Harry, welcome aboard. Don't forget, guys, click on the likes. François Pitt, not the title player that's fit in my 12th season of play. Yeah, that remind me a little bit what Mike Bergeron did with uh, Kevin, uh, with uh, Alsner a couple of years ago. That's what happened. Uh, face out on the left side, of carry Price at that moment. Uh, and we're going to rest up right away behind. Uh, and uh, go right away behind and uh, go back to Saval. Saval back the back to... Um, I don't know who this drive the puck. They were right possible. It's coming to the red line. They were right, get the puck back again to Saval. Now, Hoffman. Hoffman right now bring the puck to the right uh, behind the net. Uh, chasing right now uh, by the Flyers. Finally, a uh, recovery by Keith Yanto. Long stretch pass on the left side. And they're going to use the board. We're going to play now five versus five. The puck still in the skate of Romanov. Chasing the puck right now with Flyers. Keep the try to get a puck outside the zone. Intercept right now by the Montreal Canadiens. The puck chasing, looking Gallagher. Finally, Romanov recovery puck. Romanov have a good game so far for the Montreal Canadiens. I, I find he is really active and participate a lot of different uh, situations for the Montreal. The puck go behind Carey Price, still by the Flyers. The puck keep puck at the Ash Mac, bring to the blue line. Keep the puck to the side rim, the puck behind the net for cycling the puck. The turn around in front of Romanov. The puck in the, uh, to Glag in front of Nate Thompson. Uh, keep the puck for himself. Thompson changed his direction. Bring the puck behind the net. The only way to recover it for the Flyers. So the puck go to the goal line. Shoot the puck in the back door. Miss the puck completely. The puck go to the blue line for the Flyers. Control the puck at the Ash Mac. Bring the puck to the goal line. Find the front net. Uh, steal a uh, puck. Jake Evans is getting one out. Jake Evans changed his direction. Bring back behind the goal line. I'm going to wait for the new players coming. And uh, Ramana is going to be the, on the bench. Uh, now it's a back to a, a glag. Back by the puck right now. Pitlick. Pitlick draw the puck behind. Long stretch pass on the back far side for the Montreal Canadiens. Don't put the puck behind Jay. John. John recover the puck on the board or go on the corner. Get a puck outside the zone. Dumping on the neutral zone. Bring the puck behind Carey Price. Intercept the puck and drive the puck on the left side of Whiteman. Straps the puck in the neutral zone. Now Montreal fully is coming at three versus Kick out the puck to the skis. This kid right now. Kid the control for the puck. We're in a great move right now. Kick the puck in the back door. Intercept right now in front of the net. And the puck go. All the way back in front of Martin uh, John and no chance for the Montreal Canadiens to put the puck in the net. We're going to restart on the right side of Martin John for the fa uh, offside uh, face off. Uh, Park went out on our position on the left side, 17 24 to go remaining on the third player. Just keep winning face off. Brad Flyer, the park for P3, missed the, missed the park right there, and we're going to reset on the left side. I think the Hurricane just scored, tied the game 2 2 for the Hurricane, uh, Carolina Hurricane over the Winnipeg Jet 2 2 and Winnipeg. Now the puck go behind Carey Price and reset by Jeff Petri. When he went out to set up the breakout, Petri looking on the left side of Price, bringing the puck in the neutral zone. Great pass and missing right now, chasing the puck. And we have an offside anyway uh, at the blue line. We have to reset all the way back. Uh, no problem, 35 for, for uh, Genet. 
Uh, no problem, 35, go abs. Uh, uh, sorry for the spelling. Lobby is right. I shout for the red jersey, sir. We see a, a Martin Saint Louis left less active behind the bench. By the way, uh, don't talk a lot, quiet, watching more, observe more. I don't know why, but uh, I can see that way. Right now, come enough right now. Bring the puck to neutral zone. Don't put the puck on the left side of the Martin uh, John Jones. Play the puck. Bring the puck to Porovev. Bring the puck to the board. The Flyers try to get a puck. And finally, they did on the neutral zone. South by Perro. Perro went out, try to get a puck. Perro have a really difficult time. The puck go to the left side. Chasing went out by uh, Poulin. Poulin tried to get a puck and chased by Pit Pitlick. Pitlick lost his stick and go to recover his stick. The turn around by the Flowers. Get out of the zone. They are coming now in the neutral zone. They are coming two versus two. Kick the puck in front of the net. The Romanov. Price intercept the puck. Bring the puck to the board. The puck go in front of the... Uh, Poland intercept by uh, Perro, intercept by the fly, bring it back behind uh, Carey Price with 16 minutes, a little bit over, remaining on the third period. Long stretch pass to Savard, don't pick the puck with the Montreal Organization, just seeing right now behind the net, uh, go D to D, and the fly is going to use the board to get a puck outside the zone. They are coming in the neutral zone now. Uh, three versus three, drive the puck, kick out the puck in neutral zone, on entry zone, kick the puck now at the ash mark, shoot the puck, coming up and back. Uh, Lock the puck. The puck go back to the flowers at the ash mark. Paddle right now. Montreal play a one to one. We have four players for the puck. The puck get out of the zone. We recover right now by the Warwick. Drive the puck right away by Petri. Petri set up. Bring the puck to the left side. Back to a glag. I believe that uh, Emerson look like he's not right there on the ice. Uh, look like it. Petri back to glag. Glag bring the puck to the neutral zone. Turn around right there. Paddle Montreal. You reset on the defensive zone. Glag bring the puck again to a. Uh, is it Whiteman? I think it was Whiteman. I put a joke. I think it was Petri. Whiteman don't put the puck behind. New players coming for the Montreal Canadian. Gallagher chasing the puck, but no chance. The puck turn around by the Flowers. Long stretch pass in the neutral zone. Don't put the puck. Great count, cap controlled by Petri. Price play the puck right now. Price bring the puck to Emerson on the board. Emerson chasing right now by the four check for the Flowers. Put some pressure on Montreal. Finally, the puck still by Jake Evan. Back to back to Petri. Petri the red line to the blue line. Petri is coming out. Drive the puck behind the net of the Martin Jones. Recovered by Pinal. No chance for him but still that Jake Evans Jake Evans coming now run the puck around the net uh, uh, try to get up to Pinal Pinal cannot do anything Pinal try to get a puck try to puck to Jake Evans Evans try to puck to Pinal Pinal cannot do it and the puck recovered by the Flowers uh, less of 15 minutes remaining on the third period still 4-2 the puck go behind uh, Carey Price Carey Price intercept the puck drop to Jeff Petrie scaling, scaling with the puck coming to the blue line at the red line keep control all the way back on the offensive zone Petrie control the puck right now go behind Jane Jones rim up the puck's coming from the net. Foot the puck over the left shoulder of John. The puck goes back to the blue line to Ramanaf. Ramanaf back again to the intercept of the Flowers. And finally, they are going to get out of the zone at the red line, dumping the puck behind Carey Price. Intercept the puck. And New Plus coming from the Montreal Canadiens with 14 minutes remaining on the 13, uh, third period. The puck dropped back by DDD by Ramanaf. Uh, with Jeff Petrie. Romanov scaling with the puck. Romanov control the puck. Pass again. Keep the puck for himself. Romanov stick a puck. Pass the puck to the right side. Go back to Josh Anderson. Stuck at the blue line. Bad play overall. And uh, recovery for the Flyers. Drop the puck in neutral zone. No, no whistle at that moment. Finally, we have a blue line offside. A blue line. We're going to reset right away. And that's what happening at that moment. Uh, go abs. Go Harry. <laughs> Here we go. The wall one one because Vancouver. The Rangers five to one. The Hurricane come back with three goals. Take the lead, guys. 
Uh, Zev Jarvis, uh, Jarvis score 3 uh, three two. The Penguins still winning three two uh, three zero. The Sabers four to two. Panthers five to two. Flyers four to two. That's all the updates going on around the league. That's what we at there. I was spoiled born in the Roman de, de Cadence. Uh, they content. Yes, Mr. Jeanette. Uh, Killorn, uh, 1 0 Tampa Bay, uh, Kelly. It's time to end the season, Monsieur from Montreal, Francois. I agree with you about that. Uh, but at the same time, that's make a lion fan. So, no, like an abon uh, balance. Uh, here we go. Um, still a couple more minutes to go. Back in the neutral zone right now. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, he did his first goal in NHL. Uh, power. Owen Power just scored for the Buffalo Sabres. His first goal in NHL. The big guy, number 25. Owen Power just scored for the Buffalo Sabres. His first goal in NHL. The puck went out in an offensive zone, on defensive zone, Montreal Canadian Flyers keep the puck deep, uh, try to get the puck, it's outside by, um, by the Montreal Canadian Roman, a friend out to the blue line, keep the puck in the neutral zone, don't pin the puck, Flyers recover the puck, and it's outside, but Roman get the puck, pass the puck, went out to uh, Perro, Perro dropped the puck behind the net, by the Flyers, ran the puck around the board, try to get the puck, pinched by the Montreal Canadian Savard. The puck go back to the Flyers, on recover, recover the puck, drop the puck in the neutral zone, it's coming out, dumping the puck behind Carey Price. Uh, Carey Price make a save, drop the puck to the left side. 29 shot went out for the Flyers at that moment. 3-2 uh, uh, Hurricane just challenge, a goalie at the front, but did not win the challenge coach. Uh, all right. Kevin Fiala, 31 goal of the season, score, come on. Uh, Luke Simpson, welcome aboard. And wave Roblox. I'm going to attend a Montreal Tire Center Saturday. Oh, awesome. Watching the Ottawa Senator. Congratulations, my friend. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, one more time. Here we go. Don't forget to click on the like. That'd be great. Uh, again, a wave. Enjoy your game. Again, a Montreal and the Ottawa Senator. Uh, Luke Simpson, uh, welcome back. My friend, Patrick Fan. Awesome. Score, come on. And then set a 3 2 Eric Kenshi challenge. He did not want everything. The puck go behind the net of the Flowers. He's going to reset right away. Nothing works for the Montreal Canadian at that moment. Wow. Six loss for the Montreal Canadian. 3 2 4 2 5 1 3 0 8 4 2 0. 4 5 7 9 gold and the 9. Wow. That's what's happening. Face uh, winning by the Montreal Canadiens. They go D to D. They're going to reset right now. A neutral zone. Don't pay the puck behind. Uh, uh, John Hoffman try to get a puck. A little bit too far from him. Uh, the puck turned around by the Flyers. Pinched by the Montreal Canadiens. It's Whiteman, I believe. And uh, the puck turned around by Connectney. Connectney re recovered the puck. Draw the puck behind. And regroup by the Flyers. Uh, on the neutral zone. Keep the puck to the left side. Connectney skating right now on the right side of Jeff Petrie. Crane the puck to run. Lose the puck. Great stick by Jeff Petrie. Kalega recover the puck. Draw the puck behind to Petrie. Petrie's coming now. Waiting right now. Keep the puck skating to the blue line. Pass the puck in the neutral zone by Gallagher. Don't pee the puck. Chasing by the, the Flyers. And they're going to get a puck all the way back on the neutral zone. The puck go back right now to Connectney. Connectney winning. New players coming from the Montreal Canadian. Petlick, Evans, and uh, of course, RV Pinar. Mother Flyers going hiding behind Jones and waiting right now to reset uh, the breakout. Bring the puck to the left side. D to D. They are coming out on the neutral zone. Don't put the puck behind Carey Price. Uh, intercept the puck by Price. Price play the puck uh, to Ramon up. Intercept by the Montreal Canadian Pinar. And the puck go back at the blue line. Chasing right now. By the Flyers, Flyers bring the puck to the D, fire the puck, uh, miss the net barely, or maybe uh, hit the block shot in front of the net, the puck in front of Carey Price, uh, Montreal still the puck, uh, Jake Evans try to get a puck, finally Flyers battle for the puck in front of Romanov, battle in the corner, we have four players, and then finally the puck turn around by Pit Lake, Pit Lake try to get a puck, Romanov still the puck, but the Flyers recover the puck, in front, in front of the net, Carey Price, uh, surprisingly the puck show up in front of Carey Price, but the Flyers still the puck again, fire the puck, miss the net completely, the puck, the Montreal struggle went on defensive zone, Turn around and up and I'm talking and then Petlick's getting with the puck. It's coming the red line, chasing the puck behind the net of Jones. Jones play the puck right now. 
interceptional par le mentor canadien pour Guinan qui est de Pâques. À la blue line, donc, puis de Pâques, bien, le goal line, pour le flash intercept, they go to go outside the zone with 10 minutes, 20 seconds to go remaining on the second period. Rain the puck behind Carey Price, chasing by Kevin Hayes, drive the puck to Glag, leave the puck in the corner, battle for the Flyers, and the puck turn around and go to get wait right away a little bit made up by Josh Anderson. And that's what we had. The Wild just take the lead 2-1 over the Canucks. Uh, possible that's the last game before the Canucks, Canucks make uh, are eliminate tonight. Caulfield should have packed. John make a save. Easy with a glove. And we're going to reset on the left side of the of the Martin Jones. Uh, Francois Pitt White come back. Maria has only one thing to do is to win the uh, three. Bat on the jet on goalie. Um, interference. Dan said, Ab come back. Sorry, Boston. I have a feeling Ab will come back, Danny. About that one over there. The honeymoon with Martin Schoen is over. I don't see that, uh, Francois. Yeah, no honeymoon about that one there. Right now, they don't necessarily to need uh, to do that. Uh, they just let it go at that moment. Um, Florida 5-2, Buffalo 4-2, Pittsburgh 3-0, Carolina 3-1, Rangers 5-1, Tampa Bay 1-0, Minnesota, Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver come back 2-2. Uh, but start uh, Zeph, the Cav, qui ça, Patrick? Uh, Here we go, from the up here. Here we go. Try to find other. We have a lot of trumpets. We don't use them all the time. We have another one here. Blackhawks, welcome back. Here we go. It's Big John in French, uh, Patrick Spino. Welcome back, Pat. Uh, Blackhawk, what's going on? Uh, oh, we're just hanging there. Uh, wait for the final uh, shot of the game. Get out at some point. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, the puck go all the way back on defensive zone. Pile of Whiteman set up now the breakout. Whiteman scaling with the puck to the blue line. Keep the puck past the point neutral zone. Intercept the flowers. Flowers coming back. Uh, don't pin the puck right away. Uh, and we have an offside at the blue line. I believe that we're going to have a call at 9.32 remaining on the third period. Go abs, go, Mr. Harry. Danny, calm down. Is a song. Uh, It's all good. The puck go to the left side, intercept right now by Hoffman, bring it back to the corner, in front of uh, Martin Jean, Gallagher try to get a puck in front of Hoffman, chasing right now by the they were rack. The, the puck go in the corner. Three players from the Montreal. Hoffman cannot get the puck. Flyers steal the puck. And they are coming to the zone. They come back to connect me. Draw the puck behind. Uh, shoot the puck on carry Price. And they're serving out by the Montreal Canadian. Bring the puck around the board. And it's possible the puck stuck at the blue line. Hoffman try to get the puck out. The Flyers recover the puck. Uh, Petri now battle for the puck. Uh, one versus one. And Monson changing uh, with that part over there. Um, it's a turn around on the left side, all the way back right now to turn around for the Montreal Canadian, don't pick the puck, and it's going to go on the left side. Uh, the puck go all the way back to connect me, connect me, keep the puck all the way, and going to change this direction, going to go reset on the defensive zone, and they go D to D, and the Flyers reset their break out. Uh, they are coming now on the neutral zone, turn around right there, penalty for the Montreal Canadian, and Pitlick's going to be a pin in the box uh, with 8.25 to go. 
bit like two minutes for tripping. Another power play for the Flyers, the third of the night. Uh, that's where we're at. Uh, uh, if you are prime, you don't arrest me about that. Uh, No, no, uh, the park right now winning by the flowers. Flowers on power, please show the park on the left side and for the carry price and back to the back door. Hit the skate and it missed the net all the way. Uh, so turn around, show the park right there, uh, and turn around right there on the left side. The park turn around on the other side, don't be the park all the way back on the left side, all the way behind uh, and uh, behind of the uh. Over half uh, the Martin John control the park. The Flyers change the direction with one minute thirty seconds remaining on the power play for the Flyers. Uh, the third of the night. Uh, the park is right there by um, turn the right side. Controlling right now by the Flyers. Flyers can control the bouncing the park on the left side and uh, reset right there by the Montreal Canadian. Romanov trying to get a puck chasing by the Flyers. Still the puck by GVR. Bring the puck to the blue line. Keep controlling now. Bring the puck to the left side. The uh, carry Price, the uh, right side. Romanov can get it, but the Montreal can get the puck around the board and finally recover right now by Nick Ziski. Nick Ziski control the puck. coming now at two versus two. Nick Ziski try to get a puck on the left side. A little bit too far. Turn around by the Flyers. And now the Flyers coming at two versus one after a bad play by Romanov. I go in the back door. Missing the puck by Konechny. Finally the puck go to... Uh, Ziski, Ziski's coming now. Use the puck to the right side of the Petri. Don't put the puck behind James uh, Jones. Uh, a reset at the blue line for the Flyers with 40 seconds to go at the game uh, at the power play. The puck turn around right there. And uh, turn the right set on the left side. Uh, the turn around for the net. Oh, a great play of Montreal Canadian, but they hit uh, an open door, an open net for the Montreal and did not put a puck in the net. 5-2 uh, RG about that. Uh, the puck went out under the site. And we have a whistle. All right, crossbar by the Montreal Canadian again. By Pit Lake, I believe. Crossbar. Wow. Not doing any good about that one over there. First off, right now on the left side of the Martin Jones, they were rack face to Kevin Hayes. Winning by they were rack. Winning by fire, Petrie. John make a save, no rebound. Wow. What a shot by Jeff Petrie. And we have to wait right now for the face up on the other side. 21 seconds remaining on the power play for the. <laughs> the park now all the way back behind Price. You go D to D. A reserve now by the Montreal Canadian. Don't pin the park all the way back on the defensive zone of the Flowers. A reserve right there. Go leave, go also. Michel, here we go. Uh, right away after the game, we're going to follow with the game of Toronto Maple Leaf uh, to go with the Tampa Bay after that. 2 0 Tampa again this. Uh, and go turn the way back again on the defensive zone and going to reset uh, behind the goaltender Martin Jones. I sing. And the puck go all the way back uh, on the face off on the left side of Carey Price. Yeah, Blackhawks. Owen Power score is first going. Can yep. Uh, great play by Just Skinner. Give the puck to Power. And uh, Powers make a goal over there. Calgary right now. We are about 11 minutes. Calgary 0-0. Uh, great. They, they play again the Dallas style. They cannot, um, they cannot do. Uh, Dallas cannot last, honestly, tonight like the Vancouver. Uh, the puck go in the corner. Recovery by the, pen, uh, by the Flowers. The Flowers try to bucket around. We are even strength at that moment with about six minutes remaining on the third period in the game. Uh, get out. Go Blues. Um, about that. The puck stealing right now. We have a five plus for the puck at that moment. Uh, and waiting right now for the 
Montreal, qui est la pargaison par Whiteman, turn around with, uh, par Jake Evans, Riley Park, Edmondson. And finally, the Flush steal the puck. The Flush all the way. Tonight, guys, they recover the puck all the time and they win the battle uh, most of the time. Uh, The puck turned around in the neutral zone, intercepted out by the Flowers, dumping the puck behind Carey Price, and now they go <coughs> go all the way with five minutes, 20 seconds to go. Yes, Michael, uh, not a good night. The puck go behind to Glag, and we have 32 shots for the for the Flowers tonight. And what I need to want. Um, Coach is all amazing. Great job. Thank you so much, Blackhawks. Are very kind, Nick and Kate and Harper, Joshua. Uh, I don't have the impact tonight, uh, Francois. The park turn around, recovery right now by the Montreal Canadiens. Suski long pass right now, stopped by Josh Anderson, looking at the park right away. Don't pay the park and it was on recovery by the Flowers. They're going to use the board. Uh, I think everybody wants to go home, uh, honestly, uh, because nobody really pushed at that moment for both teams. Uh, look like Montreal said, uh, let's go five more minutes to go. Uh, you bad luck for my team. <laughs> the park turn around now and, uh, Gallagher never see his teammate on the ice again. Wow. Bad communication between Devara Gallagher and Hoffman. Belmar hurt. Uh, la prochaine fois, moi, Harry, je blanc pour Canada Montréal. Le final, RJ Buffalo 5, New Jersey 2. Oh, oh, I like that score. I don't know why, but I like it. Really impressive to see um, this Smith, the goaltender of the of the Pittsburgh, got a shootout so far. Steve, welcome back. Uh, tomorrow, Steve, Colorado versus Edmonton. What do you expect of this game? 3-0. Uh, oh, my God, Toronto have a difficult time tonight. One thing, uh, Caleb, we have to give credit uh, for the Buffalo Sabre. They have a really good second uh, half season. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just... I don't know. Yeah. I think that goalie needs to practice a little bit more. Uh, Michel Clissy said. Uh, go. Tampa B. Go. No, no, said... Uh, we have no mercy tonight, uh, Francois Pitt. Uh, another loss is a for sure win, uh, Salah. Yeah, possible. Just because Danny picked the king, I took Tampa Bay. <laughs> Blackhawk said. Vancouver 3, Minnesota 2. Wow, RJ, the Minnesota. The Vancouver does not give up. Uh, yes, Buffalo won. Roger did. You picked Buffalo. Uh, before joining uh, Danny, oh my god, friend Domba. And the puck go right now on the Flyers set. Try to get a puck on the zone. I saw my sheet. I do, I do have Pittsburgh. I know, right? <laughs> I told you. And the Flyers score. 5-2. Wow. 38 regular last kill up said. I, call, I don't expect much from the Avalanche tomorrow. Bush, but I will rest player and in close control until the playoff. Uh. I know in our top, I, I, I told you. But you said no, I go with Boston. We have the recording of the show, uh, Mr. In our top. If we want to make a, uh, we need to send this to DeLewitt Smith <laughs> verification. <laughs> uh, um, la prochaine fois, Price, but uh, pas là, toi. 
And it just start, I picked them apart. He had more 4-0. Wow. I don't really need to regroup. But yeah, it's not going to happen this year. Vasquez Chivas is like that. It's sound. Uh, yeah, I agree with you about that one over there. Great tip, by the way, with by Kaylorn. The puck should shoot it back. He hit the post again. The Montreal, <laughs> the Montreal hit the post again. Wins the 4 visit us. Ouch. Uh, Gellers. Yeah, Montreal will be 0 4 next week, too. <laughs> uh, 5 to 3. Come on, Angela. Frestad. Welcome aboard. Angela. Hopefully, you have an amazing, great day. Because I think one Boston is a play, other is said to choose the own team. Yeah, it's possible. And the flare score, 6-2. Ouch. Pitlick turnover. GB goes hunting and other hobbies. Welcome aboard. Thanks to be a new subscriber of the Hockey Nation Live Show. What a turnover by Ram Pitlick. Ouch. Ouch. Ram Pitlick. Uh, everybody said that they would be great. Oof. Not sure. Michelle, uh, watch my leave come back was nine. Nick, I think. Uh, not clear for um, about that. Leave has no girls tonight. Imagine if Tampa B. And I want to score. Cole Caulfield. Cole Caulfield, I believe, score. Cole Caulfield, I believe. No, no celebration. For the Montreal Canadian, no celebration here also. Wow, Garfield. Is it 19 now? Wow. Six three. Steve Ken Stanko just passed Martin Saint Louis tonight for the leader for the most point. Forty four shot by the Boston tonight. Wow. Exactly, Salah. That's a good point about that one over there. I said a question. I will answer the next few seconds. Set up my board. I was not expect nine gold tonight. It just not have been price or it's just price I'm missing almost a whole season. You need to get back on the price place game. Uh, Ron, I'll be honest with you. Uh, three gold of the six price should stop it, and then uh, the rest is done over. Give a gold pat on the back. No celebration. Coffee is like only position up. Yamo. Kelly was Matthew score. Yep. Uh, uh, Montreal. Uh, Victoire. Uh, 15 now. It's my call for the Carolina game. Uh, 19 gold. Coffee. Let's go for 20. Zef. And the Canadian gang. Aujourd'hui. Maxim. Uh, it, the like. 21 to go. Don't forget to click on the like. If you don't mind. That'd be great. Minnesota score. Tie the game 3-3. After the game. We're going to follow Toronto. Uh, whatsoever. The goal is 3. Maybe go after that. Minnesota. And one minute, 10 seconds remaining, uh, Black Ox. Uh, see you see, uh, guys for 175, Danny. The Carolina and then Tinette, 4 to 2. 
Carfield contro il pack again. He's coming to the blue line. 45 seconds. Carfield on the back end. Carfield lose the pack in front of Connick Knee. Drop back the pack. Recover the pack. Carfield lose his, uh, <laughs> lose his edge. Recover by the flowers. The pack go to the left side. Recovery went out by um, Kevin Hayes. The pack drop behind Carrie Price uh, with 25 seconds remaining of the game. Uh, and I would like to see Price out of the position, not on his career run with Kings. Uh, yep. Coach, can you send Roger and I array to anger management, please, uh, Danny? No muffin, uh, Steve G. Uh, I cry, and it's going to be the end of the game. Here we go. Final score at the Bell Center for the seventh straight game. It's just accumulate the Flowers last uh, win a pair score six three over the Montreal Canadian. Um, before you leave, don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, my buddy likes where is E? Uh, right here, and that'd be great. Fifty five by uh, the Smith uh, Luke Lavasson. Wow, what a game for him for sure. About that one over there. Uh, we're going to see uh, the Toronto Maple Leaf game again. A Tampa Bay Lightning. What's going on with them? Um, if it's possible. Um, Kelly 4-0 to Tampa. Wow. Oh, the play of lightning. See, tonight, as Zev have said about that, Let's see what's going around the net, uh, around the league. 6-3 uh, for, uh, for the Flowers. 5-2 the Panthers. 5-2 the Sabres. 4-0 Pittsburgh. 4-2 Hurricane. And right now we have 4-2 um, uh, We have a, a fight right now. Luke Shine and Denis Delaurier. But we'll see. 3-3. Uh, three, three. The Lightning 4-0. Wow. The Lightning's. Let's see what's going on with this game. Let's go watching um, Calgary be possible. Uh, oh, the playoff like you see, not the good for the leave. Uh, good night, uh, Danny. Ari brought me going. I'll break. I'll be done away. All right. Um, Coach, will I win Ottawa on weekend? No. Uh, Yamo, I don't see that. About that. Score OMG, Yamo. Right here, all over the leaf tonight. Uh. Uh, can I have no mod for that one over there? Uh, go for the go that present of free curse on the back of that. Mr. Andrew, welcome back. A couple of hey, words before the you, game. Coach. Bad, bad, bad. What a nightmare that was. Yep. Uh, un they looked bad all the way around, and that's including Price. None of them looked good. <laughs> no, not really. Um, another game to forget. Like I said, they already out, honestly. And uh, exactly. it becomes a little bit boring to watching them play hockey right now. It's just that fun. Uh, exactly. I'm at the point where I just wish tomorrow was the last day, you know, for them. Yep. Yeah. That's what, you know, I don't know what's next for them. I don't know. Now they are off um, tomorrow. They play again on the road Saturday in Ottawa. Then they have a back-to-back yeah. -back again Boston. Um let me surprise why he come back with Carey Price tonight. Whatsoever is Carey Price decide to come back. By the way, it's not Martin Saint Louis. Yeah. Carey Price decide. Oh, I want to come back tonight. I, I did not know why he want to come back tonight. I think he should just skip. But it is I, what it I is agree. about that one over there. I think he should have taken a rotation. You know, if he want to go back and forth with Mont and Bo, that's fine. But surprising that he went back to back like that. 
Yeah. Uh, Alan said uh, just four more games. Yes. That's how we got to look at it. And it's going to be painful. <laughs> but remember, I know we all said this a few days ago. Two to three years, we got to be able to put up with this. Yep. The Rangers win tonight, and the Carolina winning again. So both teams are again on the first place. <laughs> About that, wow. uh, uh, that's nice. right. To back, uh, back to back again, Boston. Yamo said uh, su Sunday. Yes, very much so. Uh, uh, what, did we hear play every on? game until the end? Look, like Foxen said. No, I don't think so. I think they it, that's they're taking too much chance risk wise. I would let them. Uh, I go to Montembeau next. Yeah, I think they would use Montembeau Ottawa Price uh, Sunday, and they would maybe yeah. play and Rangers with Montembeau and Price again. Um, just surprised to see him tonight. I was not expecting him, but again, um, yeah. But he called it, so he wanted to play. So you know, uh, Alan said uh, Ottawa is going to destroy the team Saturday night. Oh yeah, right now in the state they're in. They're just not playing at all. They're already on the golf course. Yeah. You know, they, 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 they already check out, right? So, uh, yeah, that's the season. Yeah. That, what's going on over there for sure about that? Calgary zero and Dallas zero at the end of the first period. It's almost 30 seconds to go. How long that Dallas, Dallas needs that game. <laughs> yeah, definitely they need that one over there for sure uh, about yeah. that. Um, what's going on with Toronto and Tampa? Uh, it's 4 0 Tampa Bay right now. Oh, wow. Uh, and the game, I don't know why. The game is on ESPN now, that's why. Yeah, I don't have it on my TV for some reason. No. <laughs> yeah, the game is on ESPN. That's why I cannot get it. Yeah, same here. Same here. Uh, have a good night, Ari. The league won't ever win a series. Palmenau said, I never talk about coffee. They were nice try in a tap, but in Nui, uh, Ari. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on the league performance tonight? Is this showing early trouble for the for the playoff? For the Leafs? Uh, no, I mean, come on. Let's be realistic. Yeah, you haven't got even Austin Matthews in the lineup. I don't think this makes it any different. We know we're worried about them in the first round. We are worried about them, but I don't think this changes anything. Really, I think, I mean, no Austin Powers, or, or Austin Matthews, sorry. And uh, what do you expect? Uh, they use uh, Cal Green also. Yeah. And, uh, you know, trying to feel him out to see what he can do against them in case they meet in the playoffs. And, you know. It's what do you think about the performance rampant league? I'm disappointed. I mean, he played well, but again, bad judgment is what my problem was with him. He should have fired He's really the puck. really struggling right now. Yeah. 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 I thought he would make the team next season. I don't know if he can now. I think he will, but he. I think he's, again, I think he's tired out now. He's come into this. He played well for a long stretch, and now I think he's even checked out. Yeah. Right. So I think they're all checked out. I mean, it's just not a good scenario. It's really sad to see, but that's what it is. And uh, you know, yeah, we said he think Tampa play better when the, the tough opening regular season. Tampa always plays better. Uh, it, you know, when it comes down to the crunch time, that's just Tampa. They 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 don't go as hard at the beginning. The season, yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah, with that look, it's just normal. Usually, unfortunately, uh, they would protect more carry price at compared to Montembeau. Uh, look for sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I said, Jadon have helped the league blue line so much. I thought he was well shot, but as you has helped so much. Uh, how do you feel about Jordan with the Toronto and Uh, you know, he's definitely gonna help them. Uh, we've, I, I don't think we've ever said he's not. I just don't know if he's enough. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, yes, he'll be a help. He'll be a, an upgrade. But I don't know if it's enough. Maroon and Simon's fighting right now. They laugh at each other. 
Oh, wow. That would be a good one. Yeah. He, he should that also would look good, good again, Maroon. Wow. Um, me too. Uh, go, leave, go, Michelle. Uh, my boss keep getting me. I do think he went got arm again. Uh, the leave could all the blood they wanted still. Uh, well, I mean, don't, I, I wouldn't, you know, if you guys are uh, Leaf fans, I wouldn't give up on them. This is a, you know, you got to see where they're going to fall, who they're going to play. Um, you know, uh, it's it's one of those things. I think myself, it would have been nice if they could have matched up against Boston. I think I that would have been the best the fact Matra have only too many uh, third and four line forward. That's all they got. That's all they got. I've been saying that all along. It's third well, liners it's all the way. Here. It was like this before that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, right. It's been like that for a long time. A long time. Now, they have 240. Yeah. Now, you have to be careful, uh, caution, too. We lost 240, Kulak, Likonen, uh yeah. I missed one right now. So, sure um, you, you cannot, you know, compare what they have one month ago, March 21st, and what we are today. Oh, that's right. You lose four That's regular right. players. You patch up with Perro, uh, Alvi Pinal, uh, Glag, uh, you know what I mean, Jordan Iris. So it's just normal where we're at right yeah. now. It's just I, I expected this. I expected it because, you know, like you just said, you got four regular veterans gone. You know, you got a bunch of kids trying to and uh, a couple of guys that are past their prime trying to make up the, the space. Not going to happen. Yep. Right. Uh, Yamo, I don't expect him to come play for Laval uh, because they, they have a race in Laval, Yamo. They really focus on Laval Rocket to be sure they make the playoff. Every time that. That's the reason they bring Harvey Pinal because he have a really yeah. good sequence. And then after that, right. they're going to prepare. I wouldn't expect to, after the weekend, they return Harvey Pinal yeah. at Laval I agree. to be sure that Laval is ready. Yeah. Uh, it's not like this, no, like the talent, the roster. I wake up with money. Uh, here we go. Uh, Nick to the bed. Um, black is okay. Uh, we fine. If Matthews, um, is LT Toronto, go to the second round. Oh, did I said that? Uh, uh, yeah, but we were losing badly with all those guys. We trade, uh, uh, yes, Alan, it's just like the hockey was a little bit better. Um, with them, if you put right now those players at that moment with carry price. And you know, as right now, you have back Gallagher, uh, you have back um, Edmondson, and you back those kind of regular because he was not there March 21st, mm -hmm. right? Edmondson was just coming back at that moment over there. I don't say they will yeah. win more. You have better team overall at what they have right now. And that's, yeah. that's the, my point behind that. I don't say they will win, uh, but you're going, you know, I think you have better when you have Lekanen, Kolak, and um, Dofoli, and you line up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Those veterans make a difference. And they were all solid, pretty solid. So for what we had, you know. Yeah, but look, uh, Boston does not play Toronto. Um, look, uh, Toronto play Tampa Bay on the playoff. Oh, that's not good. That's um, not good. Expect that for one another. It's all fairness. This losing now make it harder to really judge what do you do with Martin Saint Louis. Sign for one year or more. You cannot sign him for I one mean, year. Uh, Mart uh, you cannot no. sign any coach in hockey for two years or less. You, you, you cannot do that. So it'd be three and years, again, four years, five years. Yeah. And I yeah, think. You have nothing you know, to do right now with Martin Saint Louis. Right. Right. I, exactly you can have my I'm backup right now. Right. It's not going to change anything. Doesn't matter who's behind that bench. It's, it's not, not about coaching now. It's exactly. not a coaching situation right now here. Uh, yeah. It, it, you can have Scotty Bowman right now here. It's nothing changed. Yeah. Nothing um, would change. That's nothing nope. changed right now. It's the Tonight, manpower. Tonight, I'll play like the good old Tampa Bay uh, fast and furious, Francois. I didn't see the game, honestly. Looked like they play well for sure. Yeah. Um, I expected them to start cranking it up. Awesome. Uh, Tempo cannot be the leave, uh, Luca Fasson. I don't know about that. <laughs> I disagree. I know they beat him tonight. Uh, hopefully, Price three with them add. It would be a great mentor, a training partner for whoever the backup would be. I've not seen quick was help Peterson. 
I honestly run is Jake Allen. So, you know, I mean, it's not going to help a lot, Jake Allen, but we'll see about yeah. that. Um, uh, have a good uh, welcome, welcome, Mr. Spider Monkey. Thanks for being a part of the show. Spider, Spider Monkey, welcome. Um, they will also make Martin Saint Louis think about the do he want to coach Montreal because he understands team will last most the game. That's really what it's going to come down to. That's really, to me, what it's going to come down to. Does he want to be with the team? I he think he will. Coach, so why not? Yeah, exactly. I think he will. This is perfect. It's a young team. You get to start uh, over if it, and build if this. Everything is there. He's a French guy. Yeah. He born with yeah. Montreal Canadian. His dad live in Montreal. He's really yeah. family guys over there. His, life, his wife, Leslie, him coach. That's what he wants to do. Kid or yep. grow. The next one is 15 years old. The other one's coming to the NHL draft in two years. The perfect symbol is right there. He wants to coach. Yep. I don't know why he will leave. He's also, oh, yeah. I don't go there because they lose. Uh, it's a loser team. No, I think this is perfect. He, he just wants to have it's an perfect. opportunity of 32 coach in NHL. If he said no, who is going to get Martin St. Louis now? Well, that's right. Uh, Which exactly. team would say, I will want Martin St. Louis? Yeah, no, you nobody, prove yourself. nobody. Exactly. That's the only chance he get right now. I don't see him yeah. say no. I don't want to coach. I don't get it. No, uh, I he'll be there for that one over there. In my opinion, he'll be there, and he's the right guy to be there. I don't think that that's the issue. I think this is perfect setup. He's a young coach. He, he's going to have a young team. They're going to grow together. Uh, who who win the the flame or the king? Oh, the flames. The flame, yep. Mr. Rand Basque, welcome aboard. Thanks to join us. Welcome. Uh, look for a similar season next year, so get ready for it. Yeah, and that's, I hope so. Yeah. I hope, I hope so too. I hope we can get Connor Bedar. So. Me too. I'm hoping that we go one step further and get to the very bottom. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I have a coaching advantage and so again, the alley. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguin, Jake, as I had three tonight. Okay, Coach Andrew, see you tomorrow. Thank you, Alan. Have a good night. Have a good gym. Uh, he's going see to gym all the time at 10 o'clock. So. But Matthew's not there, right? Uh, and also they use Cal, Cal Grin, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I will guess Martin with Coach Montreal, huge challenge. He love it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, there's going to be, he's going to know who needs to leave. You know, he's going to know the characters that need to be pulled out of there. So he he's going to be a great judge of character. And they're going to do it. The guys that are above him are going to do it because they're, they're going to trust his word because they know each other so well. Yep. Uh, cool coffee score is 19 of the year. I You know, I wasn't really excited. I know it was a weird goal, but I, I lost my excitement. It just, just for the opportunities, for the amount of, effort that's being put out by even even if Cole scored, I, I'm not all that impressed with the way he's been playing lately. Uh, Nicola, welcome back. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, he got lucky on that goal, too. <laughs> Luc Lafarsen, he believe Montreal at the bottom three next season. Yeah, oh, yeah. So do I. So I do don't I. know yet because I don't know what kind of lineup they're going to get. That's the catch. I mean, we could be God, if they have a bundle of changes, who knows, right? But we're hoping for that. But, I mean, if they, they get the right changes, they could be up to six or seven spots, right? Uh, if I have, is the ad three, Petri, how about who and send Petri three? Uh, no, Ryan. Uh, you go to get more money, who and send if a contract at $8.5 million. If not Petri yeah. Gord, the saddle will not going to get Petri and give uh, Yannick Gord. Um, uh, Bottom of case, how will the flame keep Kudrow, Kachuk, Najapani, and Killington? I don't know if they're going to be able to, to tell you the truth. Somebody's probably going to have to go. There's no doubt in my mind. I don't yeah, think but, they're going to be able to sign all four of them. But here's the key right now here. All right. We have Kachuk is a RFA. Mm -hmm. So he's going to get about $8 million next year. Yeah. Goodrow is a UF free. They are right now uh four thousand dollars. Now 
And they have Mitch Japani at 2.5. Japani was going to get a, a contract at 3.5. Uh, one yeah. more year. He's not signing a long track contract, which he become a UFA after that. So, Japanese is going to be at $3 million. You're going to add uh, $1 million to uh, Katsuk. That's give them uh, $1.5 million. You're going to add another $2 million to Goudreau. That gives them $4 million more on the salary cap. Right? Wow. Four million. Yeah. But, you have Carpenter, Chen Krak, Richie, and Lewis all are less $1 million as you are free. So you don't touch it, right? But you have free. Zadarat is leaving $4 million, all right? God Branson leaving $2 million. That's $6 million right there. Michael Stone, $800. That's giving them about $5 million. Kennington makes seven fifty. dollars He's going to get $2 million. Max Trump yep. and Vladar, they have no problem right there. Yeah. You yeah. resign they'll everybody just, right there. They'll just get in. Yeah. As long right? as they let those. Now, the problem is this part. Moynihan is a long term reserve. Yeah. So that's only one deal. We try to trade Moynihan for that one over there. I think they're going to have a hard time trading him with hips. Hips are not a good thing. Uh, yes, but he would, they would, some people would take a chance with him. He's 25, 27 years old, and he have only one year contract. So, some people we give him, they don't get a lot in return, but they open yeah, up $7 right. million, dollars, but they get a, a young man, 27, 28 years old, and it does not work. It's UF free after that. It's right. a great, good, great solution for the Calgary Flames. Yeah, and that's really how it's going to have to go because you're not going to get much for him because of that issue. Yeah, so there's not too much problem over there uh, by the monkey. A uh, good comeback by the Canes, Bayern 2-0. Yes, Steve, they come back uh, about that. I will play much better next period. Uh, you talk maybe next season and Roger. Uh, no room for the free agency, so Montreal play young kid. Um, that's what my, my, pro, my yeah. thing. If they can move from Monaghan, that's what I just explained to you. That's my point that if Montreal was winning, then you can attribute this to Martin St. Louis, but one losing, you can assess to a coach. Uh, they're already paying two other coaches. Why not you sign him for one year? Because you're not signing a contract. Nobody will sign a contract one year. Yeah. He's not going to do that. Because every exactly. time a coach is at the end of his first, at the end of this year, they already negotiate him. That's just no exactly. money in the NHL. That's how it works. So yep. you cannot do that yep. way over there. I'm telling you right now, they will give him a three years contract. Now, what he can get is this. Two years contract plus an option. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised, but that's what. Yep. What happening with Manahan Francois? He have a hip surgery. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, he's just been healthy scratch and a dead four nine R. For the most part, that's uh, this little things. A uh, ghost like plus a penis goes score, but overall, if the team losing, it's gonna be hard to coach a coach as good. Uh, so, like, do you see coach how salary cap is stupid forcing team to this? Sorry, the team, I get rid of this. But again, you cannot have a, a league with no cap. Look, you're going to destroy not the team. You're going to destroy 16 other teams. Nashville now exists. Florida Panthers not exist. The Tampa Bay Lightning does not exist. The Dallas Star maybe exists. The Arizona does not exist over there. And Winnipeg yeah. Jets does not exist. Ottawa Senators does not exist. The New Jersey Devil does not exist. The New York Islanders maybe not exist over there. Winnipeg Jets, Ottawa, that's two over there. You know, you got to find a league at 2014 maybe. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's not the work. That's not the purpose of what they want to accomplish. No money for right. the contract TV. You don't go and sign ESPN. You don't sign TNT. And right now, you completely, the team, the league is going to be fall apart with that situation over there. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the reason right happen. there. That's not going to happen. <laughs> How many known players are allowed to be behind the bench during the game, Steve? What you made by this, Steve? Many known players that's are allowed to be behind the bench during the game. I think he's, he's talking about the coaches, isn't he? How many no players are Alloy? You have no numbers, Steve, about coaching behind the bench or the trainer, everything like that. Yeah. 
Sosa is probably phenomenal. He was a great player. He have a really good junior. He struggled for the last year. Uh, that's why thing one only. He used that extra time with him at the team. <coughs> that's not work that way in our top. You know what I mean? Like, <coughs> it's like, why not to sign Carey Price for one year? Yeah. That's not work that way. No. <coughs> no. And then, why he would sign one year? Well, that's it. If you don't, if you don't people. give me value of what who I am, just get another coach. Exactly, he's going to get what he wants. There's no end of some buts that's, because that's, he's that's just not. He's done a good job in my book. Over there. You're not going to yeah, say, "Oh, Martin, we're going to give you only one one year to evaluate me." They know it's not him. They know it's not him. So, I don't see that I, way over there. I see where yeah. you're coming from. To be safe and not get into a bad situation like Claude Julien, short contract help. In this case, I do favor long-term coach. Uh, we all something with the Montreal. Yeah, we have another coach in long term. The player for Garden use son to try to emulate the Lightning. So we signed Saint Louis three years. Twenty-four team is better than thirty-two. At least they not <coughs> big out four. But how are you going to pay your players? Look. How are you going to survive? All the teams going to make money if you don't have no contract TV. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, Montreal will survive. The Rangers will survive. But not many of them will survive. No. And Canada, no. That most of them did not survive. Most of them. Because they don't have that kind of contract right there. That's the point behind that. Look. Yeah. I think he said, "Coach uh, Mitchell staff it almost yeah, yeah no no um yeah no rules uh, behind that Steve. So usually you're going to get three people behind the bench as the staff minute like a staff like the the trainer. You're going to have a mm -hmm. guy for the the the, the two, and then you always a guy around the bench beside the bench. If you play at home, you go have a guy right there for anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know, change the gloves or any game, uh, the, st the the stick or the, the guy. Yeah. blade for the skate, everything like that. Yeah. So you have another guy beside that. Plus you have three coaches behind the bench usually. So like I said, five to seven usually. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> please hit the bottom for the subscribe. Okay, how about two years for MLS? He's a great much for that, but said I knew pro himself to a point. You will make Dollars with quality, no can stay. A again, look, why the NHL, why the NFL play with 32 teams, right? The, and major base baseball, because more people are involved, it's bring better for the sport and for exactly. the TV. You're not going to have no TV. Look, how are you going to survive? Why are you going yeah. to get your revenues, look? How are you going to pay McDavid $17 million per year? It's coming very soon, but you don't get revenues by TV. Now, you're going to have quality. How are you going to pay Tim Tyler to Foley at $6 million per year as a full line? Mm -hmm. that, it, 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 it's just like you're going to get scratch all the full line right now. Put Gallagher full line, you pay him $6 million. Your Sarika will be $200 million. How, which team can survive at $200 million per year? Exactly. Exactly. Right? Now you're going to have yeah. one team with a lot of money, like the Rangers. They're going to have Stenkos, Panarin, McDavid, Matthews, Manor, yeah. Adam Fox, Ken McCall, McKinnon. You're going to have a two team like that. Now that team That'll will be over one. Yeah. You have no control after that. Exactly. It, it's what happening in NBA. That's what you do. NBA. That's what the Miami eat when they sign uh, LeBron with uh, Bosch over there. And they bring those mm -hmm. three players over there. And then they change the place. They go to Cleveland. Then they go to to, uh, the, to the Los Angeles Lakers. Then they go to another location. They control exactly. the players. The monopoly of the players control the league. That's the NBA works. Now you go to get yeah. there. Colorado will have no team if he works that way over there. Nobody would, they have no money over there in Colorado overall. So what are you going to do? San Jose is not going to exist if you go that way over there. You have no money in, in San Jose. You have only one team in California. After that, it's going to be only the Los Angeles King. Yeah. 
exactly. That is thought would not that make it. it. No. That's that's the problem behind that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, yeah, of course you have a better league. Look, of course you're going to have a better league. But again, he said, full a star attract people. Look, what do you think about the teams going to have 12 W? Do you think you have more people because you have the better players? It's not work that way. If you don't have control, it's not going to work. Uh, back to 90s, uh, Detroit, Colorado stacking their team, full of style track of people. Uh, do you think Price would be on Montreal next season? I don't know, Dan. Uh, only one person knows his name is Carrie Price. That's right. Not because I don't want to answer to you. I have no clue. Nobody knows. I, I never thought he's going to be between the pipe tonight and they bring him back between the pipe tonight. Nor did I. Nor did I. Shocker. So, I think he's going to be making up his mind during this time, tell you the truth. Uh, could Gordon do a package deal to move up some of our dead worst player, or he will be a f one at the time? Uh, no, uh, Johnny, you cannot move two bad contracts together. Now, okay, I believe, I I believe we're going to lose some draft pick because if you want to sell Petri to Detroit, you'll say, yes, give me a second round pick, give me a third round pick, and you, you pay the price for that, those like that. You have no choice. Uh, Ron said, Andrew, uh, what do you think about the NHL Global Series making a return? Who making a return? Yeah, I think he's talking about this global series. I think he believed maybe the Cup Canada Cup or something like that. I'm oh, not sure I'd that's love what the question is about, but uh, I think that's what he think. I I'd, love here, but... I'd love to see the Canada Cup back. I miss that. That was always a great series. Good round robin. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I miss that. Yeah, um, really like hello, Coach and Andrew. Sean B., welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the oh, show tonight, fine. Mr. Sean. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. <laughs> uh, why do you think the league is getting younger, low cost for a while? Uh, it, of course, they're balanced. The, that's balance uh, the league of that one over there. That's just normal. Look, they have no, they have. They have no clue. Uh, they, have no, they have to find a way to come protect the 81.5 for sure. Uh, Sean, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, welcome Global Series in Finland. Uh, the Global Series in Finland. Are you talking about the, the, the IIFHL, the Global Series? He was talking about the team SHL, possible? I don't know about okay. that one. No, I don't know much about that league. I know it exists and all that, but I don't know enough about it. But I was thinking he was talking to Canada Cup or World Cup, which would have been nice too. Same idea. Is it talking about the, the end of the season? Not really sure. Oh, he talked about, oh, no, he talked about the Global Series is the, I oh, know, I got it now. I remember. It's the two-team play over there, the Colorado, and uh, the, it's like the the winter winter game outside is a series you can play in, um, in Finland. Uh, now I got okay. it. So okay. that's all about about that. I think this year is Colorado, uh, someone else about that one over there. It's a preseason game in Switzerland and Germany. Uh, okay. Now it's going to be in Finland and Czech next season. Yeah, I always think that's good for them to expand and, and get around, you know, just to show Sorry them, about that. Showcase the, game. showcase the NHL. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, this league is leaving, is like leaving on borrowed time. You talk about NHL right now, look. It's the most healthy NHL for the last 100 years right now, look. It, they make a ton of money right now. 
Yeah, they are making a lot of money. <laughs> they lost a ton of money during the bubble, right? They took the money for yeah. the escrow. All right? And then yeah. the next five years, they're going to pay back all the money back to the escrow and pay back all the players they did not pay for the last two years because they took the money for the escrow. How healthy wow. is Montreal, uh, uh, the NHL right now? Yeah, exactly. Uh, RG says, Fais out Tampa Bay. Uh, Francois now, uh, better now for the leave cut and the playoff, Francois. Uh, NHL tried to go in a rap as well, but it won't work. European Premier Love Soccer, and that's it. Uh, Steve said uh, about that. Uh, sorry, I fall asleep a little about that. Uh, now I got it for the Global Series. I apologize for that one over there. Um, I'm watching right now. Calgary is 0-0. And Calgary went out at the 17. Let's check the score around the board. Uh, let's go right there. 6-3, 5-2 Panthers, Sabres 5-2, Penguin 4-0, Erican 4-2, Rangers 6-3. The Wild and the Vancouver went out is 3-3, Mr. Andrew. Wow, nice. Lightning is 5-0. Yeah. The Flames 0-0. Wow. I'm going to go see the Minnesota game about that. Uh, My word. The team are living on the profit sharing. Yep. <laughs> exactly. That's that's the beauty of what they do. That's the reason they keep 32 team is to share yeah, the see. money between look right. about that. That's that's the I, reason. I, why. Under, I understand his thought process. Like back when there was that many teams, you got a good, a better, a good, really good quality of game. I get his thought process, but you need the 32 teams to help support the league. I understand if he cut 32 teams, he played, but you don't have Delorier, you don't have Pesada, you don't have Poland, you don't have this. You have a better league. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. But how are you going to survive said. the yeah. TV and contract? That's, that, that's what he's got to understand. Exactly. I don't know how they're going to make the money because yeah. now nobody makes money because the money coming from TV contract, the 7 billion, 7 that's billion. That's why they did it. Billion. That's why they the did contract it. Yeah. The in Canada is $500 million. That's why they did it. That's yeah. the reason they did it. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's why they have a chance to pay those kind of players at some point. Yeah. Uh, other team, sorry, the league tried to be on the team, keep buying a cup, and now everybody keeps saying you can do it together. Uh, NHL going to be just fine, plenty of revenues. Steve said. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't revenue. like to put a spotlight on officially, but wow, it's about it getting worse. The NHL protect this guy too much. Uh, what do you think about forcing the ref to interview after the game? Uh, it would be impossible, Sean, to do that. Um, it, you don't see any sport do that. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Now, the only thing I would say to you, Sean, where I'm wrong, uh, I don't feel the NHL make a mistake is this. The NFL... Please Sunday, right? Most of the game, mm -hmm. right? If yeah. an official make a mistake or you have a rules happening during that game, they make a mistake. The Monday, the NFL will recognize the league overall make a mistake right now. Game number, Tampa Bay against Grand B, Grand Bay, and then you said, look, at 14-26, we call an interference. It should not be called or something like that. Does it make sense? Yeah. So that's Only problem. something happening in NHL. You should recognize right. that play with that. It should be called for uh, everything like that. Or I will give yeah. you an example. They will suspend Michael Becerra, right? Yeah. yeah. Two games, right? But they never mentioned the referee missed the call. Oh, I know. And exactly. that call should be called it for five minutes and gives misconduct. Yeah. Yep. That's why they protect the referee, and that's why it's not right. Mm -hmm. I agree. Sense? It totally makes sense. That's why I, totally. I, that's why I feel is that. Um, and I'll tap said, uh, very depressing for Montreal. Montreal has to clean up also the problem for money purpose. Weber, Petri, Gali, Price, and Huffman. I don't it's know if it's possible bit. in our tap. It's going to take a while. It's not going to be an easy one. If they can knock off one player, um, you know, one one in the off season, maybe if you get lucky by uh, the trade deadline, 
and then another one the following off season. It's going to be a slow, slow process to get to get these contracts gone. Yeah, exactly. And he said, "No way, this happened in three five years." Uh, yes, um, and after three three yeah, years, I think three 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 yeah. years, and I will tell you why right here. Let me check here, my Bible of my on my computer. Here we tell you that. Let's go three years, all right? Yeah. Let's go next year. Uh, let's go year number two, all right? Biron, you don't have no contract anymore, all right? So it's right. out. Um, you don't have Jake Allen contract over there. The only problem you get is still have to pay Gallagher for a long time. Jeff Anderson's not bad. Mike Hoffman's going to be in three years. So after two years, after this season, Hoffman is out over there. Amir is still have one more year after that. The contract Amir is really the, the, the problem for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, and then uh, you don't have to pay Jonathan Drouin. Right. All right. Jonathan Drouin be out after that. Uh, yeah. That will open up some money uh, for sure. Um, yep. so that gave you a possibility in two years, um, you're going to have more, more chance to get, um, a better way plus, to set up. Plus you'll, at the same token, time's going by. So you'll be taking a year off like someone like Petrie's contract. That'll be one less year. So he might be easier to trade at that point. Right. Now, Francois Pitt, that's the right things to do. You're going to judge Use yeah. a golden during the off season, not at the trade deadline. It's at the off season you're going to. How are you going to manage to drop 10, 12, 15 million dollars? Can't do it all at once. There's no way. Uh, Canada team, our dome, uh, what you said, look about that one over there. Um, you are right in our tab. Those contracts are going to take long term to deal with. We need to do yeah. well on development. Yeah. Focus on the development while it's going on. And as the as you start burning out the contract, you're down to one or two years, then somebody might trade for them at that point. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, but how it goes well, we are talking about eight, ten years just to be competitive. Assuming mistake, I'll not make along the way a son to be back ever. Uh, not true in our tap eight to ten years. You, you cannot rebuild for eight to ten years if you do that. You're going to lose right now. Uh, example, Romanel will be 34 years old. Yeah. So yeah. You, you, you missed completely. I, on think, that, uh, I think you'd be uh, fine. Uh, rebuilding, all right, it's five yeah. years. Yeah. A team at seven years should have be at your best at that year. That's right. seven years. The seven years, that's what you get your best of the best. Right. That's how it works. So, but I do think at the three-year mark, you'll start seeing the change. Um, you'll start seeing a positive If I change. go well, we are talking about eight, ten years just to be competitive. Assuming mistakes are not made along the way, which is staying back ever better. I don't see that. I, I, I don't. No team believe for ten years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you pick and 20, like, if you think that way, Shane Wright will be 29 years old. Exactly. Right? And so, yeah. It's five years, and then after that, you have to pick it up. Yeah. And, and I, I think really that's, why that's not the case. On that. I need to like the defensive prospect point. We need to go draft, make sure those pick right there. Uh, about that, uh, coach, you're very positive. And on top, uh, thanks, coach. Uh, I'm just at uh, the H rep interpreting the way they see rules. We are this in the postseason a lot faster. Team are slow down by the ref along. Only friends, yeah. Unfortunately, Sean, it's happening. And the team with some players like Mick David, they don't get the call last season, everything like that. Um, yeah. It, that's sad, but that's the reality behind that part of there. Yeah. yeah and they I'd should call this. everything during the playoff like they should do during the season. Sure they should. Sure they should. That's that's the big problem with, with the NHL is the officiating needs an overall. you got to start calling things right across the board. Equally, uh, Alfman is at least useful a little. Uh, Armia, uh, and I agree with you, Salah. Uh, Mike Alfman did not score 
He scored yeah. tonight. I, His first goal in I, the last 22 games, Salah. So I'm not agree with yeah. Alfman. Now, Julian Amir played a little bit better recently, but yeah. not at not the way he, he get paid at $3.5 million per year. Right. But give him this. Hoffman is good for coughing up the puck big time. So that's that's the one thing I don't like with Hoffman is he tends to turn over the puck quite a bit. Oh, yeah. But as I said, Hoffman does not play well. No, not at all. I'm I'm on page with you on that one. I agree totally. Uh, on the result, and I thought it's done correctly. I think can be in three years. Um, yep. Yeah. Whoa, I think we have some fun. fight right now. Tampa Bay <laughs> and. Uh, oh, and I can't get it on mine. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no fight, but not all pushing. Nick ball drop, but nobody, nothing happened there. How about oh. that. Sierra Lee, all the way there. Uh, Marc Bergeron took nine years to get a finals. It's not about the final in a tap. It's to rebuild that team. And yeah. the team he made last season, it was not a great team. No. No. It was to not me, like that an amazing, team. great team. Right? So that team, that team was sliding for the last three or four years backwards. It was, it was going downhill real fast and it needed a major adjustment because it needed to rebuild. We lucked into the playoffs last year. We shouldn't even have been there. Uh, yes, Blackhawk is the back-to-back -back game and the King need that one tonight. So, Yeah. Uh, this year, King will prove that the rebuild should take about five years. Yeah. Yeah. For them to get to a good point, yeah. Uh, again, look. Again, you cannot build a league as 16 teams. It's impossible. It's no, not those me. Days are gone. It's the league. I like, yeah, I like and those the days. Minnesota just score. Oh, the Vancouver right now. Minnesota score. Okay. 7.43. Wow. The problem, look, is because the money. I, I Tell me how much you, how do you going to make your money, look? How can you build a team at $150 million per year, 16 yeah. team, with $100 million? How are you going to pay your, your, your players? How do you get your revenues? That's, my, that's what I want to know. The system works right now. It works. You have that's no choice. Put it there. Yeah. Look at Edmonton, Detroit, New Jersey, leave and orders. Um, Detroit just restart three years ago in our tap, but maybe four now. Um, they just get as I mean, like three years ago, I believe they was there. Um, yeah. You're going to have some team in our tap that's not work. It's part of the symptom. But what happened with Tampa Bay? What happened with Chicago? What happened with Pittsburgh, right? I, I, yeah. I, I can go all the way with Sven team about, look what's going on with the Los Angeles King, right? And then what happened with Florida Panthers? There's more teams that worked for than there are teams that didn't work for, that, you know? You know, it, it, if you think only the team win the Stanley Cup, it's not going, it, nobody will, it will forever, it will never work. But look the thing right. what they were before and what they become. Right. That's why you have to figure out that one over there as to exactly. see where they're coming from. Look, Calgary Flames. And it, I can go all the way like that. All right, it's yeah. almost time, Black Ox. Good luck for your team. Like I said, back to back will be hard for them uh, tonight. Uh. Ooh, yeah. Not a great team, but 80 million. Not a great team, but uh, 80 million dollars. I'm not sure, look, what you're talking about. Uh, around 20, but, but yeah, not there yet. They will need one, two more years to really consider Cup Challenger. Yeah, but in our tap, they, they, <laughs> it takes three years to get draft first. Yeah. Then it takes about yeah. two more years to reset everything. Then year right. number five, you become a team, make the playoff. Yeah. You don't rebuild to make the final and win the Sunny Cup because it will never happen in, uh, for all the team the, this way over there. What you try to yeah. do is to go down and then rebuild to make the playoff and to be after that the top 12 in NHL.
That's give yeah, you five to seven yeah. years. It's not going yeah. to work everything. It's normal. You're going to make mistake. It's normal. But the team make mm -hmm. a great run. All the team take about five to seven years to build mm -hmm. that area over there. Yeah. Uh, three minute uh, black ox. Um, one of doing it for four years would pay approximately how many players coach. I'm not sure what you try to say, Kelly. One of the million dollars for four years. I'm not sure. Sometimes you think it can drop it be good fast by other things like that. How do you think that UFC make the money by presenting a real matchup and not so much? Now you talk, you compare a, 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 a one boxer look. You compare a sport. Why you don't, you know, UFC, tennis, golf, uh -oh. uh, cannot be NBA. Again, look. I said to you, how I, I just want to ask you, how do you make the money? Yeah. Right? That's that's the catch. That But is again, the catch. I, I, I would like to get 18 at the best 32 at uh, 23 players. I don't say I'm not again you. It's better for the value of the situation. I just said to you, it's impossible to have a league with an open market salary, no cap protection that's just what i said to you and i said i'm not agree to have the better players on the lower team it just makes sense yeah. to me you get the quality of the hockey player but how we pay them how yeah. do you survive those team over there that's my question oh, yeah. to you and i said i'm again you i want to know what's the plan of how you're going yeah. to build that league how exactly how and Calgary and Edmonton can survive over there. Now he's getting Thank more you. in Toronto right now. Isn't that game over yet? Toronto, Tampa. I know no? now if they, they push each other, every turn of that. Oh wow. I wish I could get that game. <laughs> oh man. And we still don't know what's going on with Dallas. Perry right now is the middle of this with Maroon. Pukosian is there. Clifford is there. Oh, my. They just prepare right now for the... They just prepare for the playoff. Yeah. Yeah. Sending a message. They're sending a message. Expect some of this. <laughs> I, I'm asking what you just personally said to like one of the million dollars would not be enough to pay players. I was trying to understand. Okay. Uh, six one ten Pabi called Nick. Uh, you rebuilt to be considered, but you take seven year minimum to get there. Again, I submit you have the right management to do it. Good development. You draft a trade well. Look, play is a huge play. Yeah. I never see a league wigglingly allow team to lose money. Because you're not agreed to team sharing, look, that's the problem. But that's happened with everybody. That Yankees pay a tax after that. Oh my God. Whew. Right? Boston pay big, a tax after that. Crazy. You want to money. go that direction, uh, not a problem. But the Ranger, we have to pay the tax after that. But what happening? The Minnesota just score again. That's the end for oh, wow. Vancouver. Yeah, they're done. Um No updates on Dallas. And I thought Avalon did it in three years. We are not cup favorite. Uh, one one Dallas and the Flames. Look out for Perry. He has only doing coast Maroon there to helping. <laughs> I uh, love Corey. Uh, Nicola de Gobi, Tomo. Uh, Felicitation, mon homme. Je te souhaite bonne chance. Steve, they have been rebuilding for 10 years. Not three. Yeah, but they are good for many years uh, in our tap. They got Matt Shine. They got Ryan O'Reilly. Mm -hmm. After that, they got McKinnon. And Plus, I, I you got to go remember, all the way like that with uh, they're Colorado. Still gonna be, they're still going to be drafting players when you get to that three year point. So, yep. you know, you're still going to be able to add good prospects in there. Right? going to be a continual cycle. You might get a lucky charm in the batch again, right? Yep. I agree with you about that. Uh, the cat with uh, 40 gold. Wow. 
Uh, yeah, no, it's okay. Uh, bring in luxury black tax over there. That's the thing. I mean, you know, it's you're, they're not going to go backwards with, with what the cost sharing in the league. I know the hockey was better. I get it. Like you had more of the top players with less teams. I get that totally. But they're not going to accept making less money now that they've got the higher contracts. They're not going to let that go. My, my only <laughs> thing I would say to you is that way is like with the luxury tax. Look, what, why I'm not I, I agree. Well, I'm not I agree with you. Why I'm against this? You're going to have about seven team of the 32, and then the rest. Yeah, yeah, you're going to play tomorrow night. I don't know Arizona, Montreal is going to finish eight to one because right. because the first three line in Montreal are better to the four line. The Montreal be better the first line for Arizona because Arizona yeah. cannot afford it. Yeah. So to follow what you said, you have to cut 32 team at 16 team example. Yeah. And then you build another league after that. And then yeah. after that, how much the revenue is coming now from left and right? And that that would be the only way you can go that direction. If not, it's not going to happen. Or it's not, exactly. I don't see how they can exist that way over exactly. there. That's and why. And the Minnesota yeah. score and empty net, six to three. And this is the end for the Vancouver. They're done. Uh, They're done. Come on, keep bringing the crowd. Look at us. Wow. Six to three. Well, at, least we're, at least we're starting to get, get you know, an idea of what's going to happen in the West, the way it's starting to wind down. Yep. Finally. Yep. Finally. Uh, six to one, Lightnings, one to one. Uh, wow. Congratulations. Matthew Ketcher, guys, got his 100 point tonight. Nice. Good job. 1-1, one, one, the Flame, the Star, the fl yeah, Star need to win tonight. Oh, they have to, or they're in big trouble. And that's what I've been saying. I just, I'd like to see some consistency out of them. Uh, look, uh, you said Batman killed the original six. It's all I've been before Batman, look. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Time to Campbell, they bring six to 12. After 12, they bring to 18. After 18, they bring to 24. 24, they yep. bring to 30. Now you get 32. Uh, it's yep. not start with Batman. It start before him. With Ziggler, everybody. Yeah. And why do you think they jump from 6 to 12 team? Yeah. It actually started with, the, uh, if I can remember correctly, under Eagleson. And then it went to Ziegler. Yeah. And that's where they started really expanding under those two guys. Yeah. Uh, Vancouver 6 3. Thank you so much, RJ. Uh, Flower 6 3. Uh, 20 turn was the best. Uh, that wow, that was a big well, blow. 18, 21. Yeah, I would say 24, <laughs> but uh, I can understand you at 21 over there about that. I'll be honest with you, at that moment, look, Canada should have only three teams. Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, that's it. Yeah. That's it. And then you go major, Boston, New York, only, uh, then you have one, and then after that you go Minnesota, right? One, one in Detroit. You get mm -hmm. the big market hockey, and then you build those teams over there. Uh, they found a guy who threw a hot dog at Kessel just as a server. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> That's maybe the... the uh, oh, is this 7-1? Oh, my word. 7-1. Ouch. That's not good. It's not looking good tomorrow morning, and uh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, uh, look, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was just mentioned team. Yep, so right. Look, I, I think Saint Louis would be good. Philadelphia would be good. Um, you know, yeah.
Thank you, RJ, for the six three thumb mess move by the lead player eating Perry on the top of the head with his thick one is why no helmet and a melee. Oh wow, Francois. Would be really interesting how this turn around. You still have ten minutes to play. Wow. Kings have to win tonight. The Blues have to win tonight because they're that wild win. Really interesting to see that for sure. It's gonna be interesting. I don't but know. I we can move. Uh, we can move a big move, but we have seven likes to get one hundred. There you go. We can do it. Jonathan Quick is going in the net again. Yep, they'll win. Oh, um, wow. look! Look is good about. Look is right about that one over there. I because I would I. I did not like because they play in the Montreal look, but I always love the Hartford Whalers. I, you know what? I like the Hartford Whalers too. I miss I, having them. I, and the Minnesota you know, I never North been, Stars. I've never been a fan of the Toronto, of the Quebec, right? I, I, I never yeah. liked them. But I'll be honest with you, you. I can tell you almost all the players for the Hartford. I just love the Hartford. Like from Ron Fresson for Ferrero. Uh, for oh, Avison to Samuelson to Mike Elliott, and I can go all the way like that. I was just like, yeah. uh, just fun to watching them. They, they, really they good. was just I great. Plus the jersey, yeah. it was yeah. good. I, I don't yeah. know. It's, it's fun you bring this out for. Uh, this I miss yeah. a lot. Given the name, yeah, Deneen. yep. Yeah, I love Kevin the name. Kevin the is a yeah. good guy, by the way. I have a chance to have a lunch with him, uh, the NHL coach. And uh, he's just a good guy. Yeah, uh, about class that. act. Class act. Uh, Steve, yeah. did you play hockey? Andrew, did you play hockey? If so, which position? Oh, I was a forward. I, uh, I rotated, actually. I, I could play center, but I could drop to the wing, too, just wherever coach wanted me. But, yes, I played, and uh, I had not bad, not bad numbers. Pretty good. I started as a goalie, and yeah. uh, one one the, the 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 organization did not give me a free stop. My dad said, "You go play forward now." <laughs> yeah, I've had to, to play defense too. I've had to step in on defense when there's been in injuries as well. But uh, my basic, my main spot was up front. Did you like so, the yeah. Atlanta Flame and the Minnesota North Star? I love the North Stars. <laughs> love Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, they had a lot of good hockey players there. I really love the North Star, the Bill Gowalski, the Jean Paul Parisi. Uh, yeah. You know, then after that, you get a little bit little Mike Modano, but prior to that one over there. Oh, yeah, you before know, that. Cesar Maniago, and I don't Dave know, it Christian was like another Christian. great jersey with the N and everything. Then yeah. I kind of thought you lose a little bit. The, the, I kind of, I never liked that. Honestly, with all the respect, guys. I never liked the Atlanta, Georgia State. Um, yeah, it's not a good place to go there. But um, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't big on the the Atlanta Flames. That's for sure. But I like to. I like the days. You know, the North Stars with Bobby Smith and he. Uh, Toronto player losing their cool stashing, looking for trouble. Francois Pitt said. Uh, why did you move? Uh, I mean, so that it was no revenue about that one over there in our tap. And I think it was really a mistake from the league to open up it, because it's like base, you know, baseball and New Forgland example. You nobody play baseball in New Forgland, right? Nobody play a, a game in Atlanta, and it was already messed up over there. It's like you know they tried before, does not work, and they have unfortunately they should go. They always have a team in Michigan, a team in Minnesota. A team in, in Massachusetts. They are the three states where the hockey is the most hockey player play hockey. And they removed right. it. So the, it was not make sense. I believe it was Ziegler at that time. I could be yeah. wrong here. But that yeah. would be a I big mistake in our top about that. I agree with you uh, for that yeah. one over there. Power play for here. the power play right now for Toronto, uh, for the Tampa guys. It's 7 1. And you know what? That's crazy. They, you know what? They tried to score eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bad thing about that. Uh, Uh, see, Atlanta Thrasher or the Flame? Uh, it was the Flame before in the 80s, and then after that, they become the Thrasher at the at the end of the 90s. Uh, yeah. 
I'm not sure he's going to wear ring this year. I have to wait until next season. The next time I'm going to wear this, maybe I'm going to be in Thailand. You know what? I wish I would have kept mine. I'm so frustrated that I let it go. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but they eventually got the team uh, back in Minnesota. Yep, they did. Uh, in yeah. our top. Uh, boom, boom. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Play there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Steve said the first it was the Colorado Rockies. Oof, yeah, he was tough was over Colorado there. Rocky. He was Colorado tough Rocky. over there. That team never became the New Jersey Devil. Yeah, yeah. And there then we, we had go. the golden, the days Eight, of the two, golden one. field. Do you know who he scored? Pat Maroon. Yeah. <laughs> Five Eight, two one. minutes. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> oh, yeah, no celebration, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they go straight to the bench and okay let's move on to the next one I right. eight to one that's really bad oh between the, the what, arm that's what's brutal these are supposed to be your top teams and it's eight to one that's big difference there <laughs> I, I know we don't have a lot of people here you know um I know some maybe uh, fans of the Toronto. I don't want to say that that way. And in our tab, maybe answer and Drew, look at Fortune, Steve, you guys, you know how you talk a lot, Francois. If I forgot one of you, just tell it. Do you believe that game could have an impact on the, on the mindset or the mental for the Toronto Maple Leaf for the playoff? Oh, yeah. I think it's a, it can definitely do so. I mean, I think they're. I think Tampa's trying to send a message. I really do. Uh, yes, uh, look, I, I I remember that one. By the way, look about Boom Boom with a commercial Atlanta. Uh, is it a mistake for Tampa Bay to put? There you go. He, he's questioned this one. Is it a mistake for Tampa Bay to put his bad or the beating on the leaf tonight? For the leaf, this could be built in material for the playoff. Uh, you know what? I, if it would depend on the team that's doing it. Normally, you don't want to pound a team that badly, but when you've got a team that is tough as nails, like Tampa, the Leafs don't want to get into a hitting series with Tampa. So they might want to, you know what I mean? That's that's they might want to watch that. <laughs> the Sharks take the score one zero against the Blues. It would be an impact if it could be a good thing for the Toronto Waking them, maybe. I don't see that me. I don't see that way. I think this hurt more Toronto at Tampa Bay. Oh, yeah. So do I. So do I. Big time. I think they're sending a message that you're now you're seeing. You're, we're giving you a glimpse of who we are. Uh, and our time, so remember, leave out without Campbell and Matthews. Yeah. But still, you got to look at. I mean, that's a that's a drastic score. I don't want to be a bad mouth here, but how many gold Messi has last season on the playoff? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I understand <laughs> enough that. I understand that. I just like mentally. I think that game could leave some thing behind for the next one. I understand. Yeah. So look, we don't have Matthews, and you know they will have to reset tomorrow and forget that game. Is the bad game move on? Everything. I understand that, but. I yeah. still believe, imagine if they lose 3-2 to Toronto, how they feel good about that. Yeah. Now that the employees say, look, we beat them 8-1. We can beat again them. I just, yeah. I feel like Tampa Bay is win that one over there. The St. Louis Blues tied the game 1-1. One, one. About that. There you uh, go. I have a question for Johnny. Um, Gordon Hughes pick number two. Right is gone. Who do you think they will pick? I want Solovsky. That's who I want. Solos Solovsky, if I'm saying it right. Stefoski. 
Yeah, that's who I want next to. If if we don't get right, I want Slavatsky. Yeah, that's my second choice. I don't know, but maybe guys, I cannot do any game can is in the next three years with Ajax. Egar, uh, Edge Jack, what a Amber Harbor, Zara Zakovsky. I'm going to get like I will not to do how I can pronounce any stupid name in the back of their jersey anymore. All the crazy names they're take. going to get is crazy right now. Whatever, right now yeah. I have a difficult time. Imagine with those players and uh, Harbor Edge Jack is coming. Uh, you have to go by the numbers, and it's 19 to 24. <laughs> Michael said he feared that Slavkovsky is Zeka. I think Slavkovsky would fit the... Uh, I, I'm convinced that he would fit Suzuki and Caulfield very well. I'm convinced that's what they need. I will tell you one thing about this uh, in our tap. And, and Michael, is, he knows how to turn that. Zeka is a center. Mm-hmm. He's a winger. Exactly. Zeka is 6'3". Savoski would be 6'5". Right. He still grew wing. He's 17 years old. All right? So I believe me, um, it, it's two different players uh, about that. No. Totally. Totally. I believe me, um, you know, Savoski I have here. I don't know if I have here. I think he's the perfect guy if we don't get right. I really do. I think he just... He fixes that line. He gives us a legitimate line one. Oh, by the way, his first name is Juraj. 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 Slavskoski. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, he's right now, at 18 years old right now, he is a left winger. He's 6'4", 220. Nice. nice. And that's what we need. We right. need that. Uh, he played right now in the men, and he have like 10 goals at uh, 10.31. He have five goals. Uh, now he played in the playoff right now. In the playoff right, right now. In 14 games, he has six points. Nice. He's the youngest nice. player in that league at that moment. I like that guy. I really do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you're not that. You don't make a mistake. I'm telling you, do you, do, do you know who, who he remind me? Who does he remind you? Chemnikov for the Cardinal Hurricanes. Yeah, b big time. I think you're right. I think you're on to something there. I really do. And that would be, yeah, that would be perfect. Perfect for that line. Francois and I thought through the leap of missing my friend man and Kevin. Oh, yeah, of course, Francois. I understand yeah. that. Uh, Colorado won the both in the final. Steve, we want to be the best of the best. Uh, uh, look, I picked Slavkovsky over right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I go that far. I'll be honest with I you guys. I Anderson, I just feel bad. Not feel bad. I would be worried to pick number one, and we pick Shane Wright. And a month right after 20 games, I see... I told you, do not pick Shane Wright. He should be Slavoski. He should be Nemec. He should be Coley. He should be Savoy. Because he will not preserve. It would be another one. I have to be sure he don't hear absolutely nothing. That's my <laughs> biggest problem with that as a number one. Yeah, very much. Uh, Johnny said, my question is, who do you think they would they pick? Well, I mean, it depends. If we're picking first, we're picking right. I yeah, but they, he said for number two, I still believe they will number go two. with Slavkowski. Same here, same here. He My fits, only thing like I would say to you is Cooley is really well done and he's produced USHL, if you that. And they like those kind of players. But Johnny, the feeling of the... The draft pick, guys, is Jeff Gordon. Yeah. Jeff Gordon yeah. worked on the on those you prospect. Jack, you, uh, Ken okay. you is more about the management, general manager, trade NHL. And I feel like they will go with Slavkowski. That's what I think, too. Uh, what And happening uh, to Toronto right now? Uh, I, I get concerned with guys like Cooley and... Uh, 
who's the other fellow that's from uh, Quebec Major Juniors, a young French kid. Um, anyway, those two guys are both small. And uh, at center, I'm sorry, um, NHL, you look at today's NHL, there's only one guy that that size that has succeeded, and it's point, Braden Point. Um, look, just give you an idea, of course he's not God, but what he is, uh, what he is Gordon, he rebuilt the Boston Bruins in 2003-2007. He rebuilt the uh, New yeah. York Rangers lineup they have right now. It's all because of Jeff Gordon. Right. So um, at some point, uh, you have to give credit for he, he what he did in the past. That's the reason why content. about that. I quite can understand they leave a left winger, but, but Shane Wright yeah. is really what is he's the best player right now in that draft pick. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to go with the best player available. There's no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. That's what so I believe I mean, who gets Steph Kaski number two. Uh, Gator, yeah. Uh, Toronto, yeah, it's a bad game for them for tonight. Uh, Gators, about that. Steve G said Nemec. Nemec, it would be number four, five, or six, uh, Steve. And the reason why yeah. I said that is all depend who draft number four, five, and six. And I yeah. still believe it's going to be right, Cooley, Slavkowski, or Slavkowski, Cooley, and then the number four, Nemec or Jerechek. Yeah. Uh, it could be that one over there. Now, it's still pushing everybody. Perry in the middle of everything again. Uh, they're skating around <laughs> and bonding. Perry. And this he's sending a message. Not over yet with two minutes to go. That's that's Corey Perry. He's sending a message. You're in for it in the playoffs. <laughs> uh, Johnny uh, Golis, Owen Power scored tonight. Yeah, he scored uh, for Buffalo tonight. Yeah, good. Uh, oh. Yes, Johnny. Well, just Gordon kid. or no scout? No, 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 no. Uh, no, no. I was just trying to explain to you. Gordon is really focusing on the on the draft. My point. Yeah. It was not He's like draft it's guy. only him. It's just like on the part of what he does with can use. He's really focusing with the draft and talking with everybody else, like Lapointe, Paris, Bar yeah. uh, Zaba, Zaba, whatever they call him, everything like that. That's what I was trying to explain. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely going to be out working on the kids, whereas yeah. you're going to get Hughes Sakaski on the is trade. the right choice as a number two or three. We need a power forward. Yeah, we do. I agree with you, Francois, about that. It's it's either the power forward or the top center, and that will give us two. Montreal two had the rhythm, the scouting stem. That's the real challenge. That's what you do right now, Lit. That's, yeah. what they, that's what they did so far. They are five new people. And the system, they are another you video. They are two me, two more people on analytics stuff uh, right now. So since they are there, they are eight new people, and that's what mm -hmm. happened about that. Toronto's coming now, and Vasilevsky make a save. Uh, we still have two minutes to go. Uh, about I agree with you about that one over there, and that's a problem. Uh, look, the problem is what Montreal, I, I can and I cannot answer to you, maybe in our top, maybe you, maybe Adam. I'm not sure when he was draft, the players, if it was Trevor Timmons or if it was Mike Bergevin. Oh, I think I think there was influence at certain times, like with, with KK. I think that, uh, I think Bergevin overstepped Timmons. That's my opinion on that one. Yep. I think there's certain times there's certain times he jumps in and takes took the reins from Timmons. I agree you with know? you. Uh, bonne nuit, mon yeah. Nicolas. Merci encore une fois, mon homme. Bonne chance demain. Andrew, Agreed. you're right about Slave had a great on the ski line, great fit on the left wing. Yeah. Uh, also, um, Luke Lafferson bring this about that one over there. Uh, he bring that comments, uh, Johnny, also. Uh, yeah. Luc Lafarsen, key. So is it quite key? Look. Calgary score. Uh, I don't know. I didn't mean he's... No, he's a replay. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. LA is leading Chicago. Um, One month. The leaf has disappeared over there. Uh, and not that. Gordon has to... Be, to also investigate the mythical team in charge of the Montreal. 
No way we should be having so many managerial game loss and consistency year after years. I agree. I agree. That's got to be revamped. Revamped big time. Now, I just ask you, you look, who draft the player in Montreal? Is it Bergevin? Is it uh, Temens? Who was the last decision that we pick up? We pick up... Um, Uh, we pick up uh, KK example, if you turn that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Foot. Yeah. Carl Foot just battle uh, fight with uh, uh, with uh, Kerfoot. Wow. Go Kings. Go nah. Steve said. Uh, <laughs> Dano again, uh, 26th of the year. Yep. He fits there. He really fits there. It's still 1 1 Dallas and Calgary. Wow. If That's we pick crazy. fresh and right, go shake can be a one. Uh, Charles Nicole. Uh, who is your gave coach of the year? Who is the coach? Who do you give coach of the year? Sutter. I'm still with Sutter. I like what he did. I mean, that team could be a different team and not so good <laughs> if, it, if it wasn't for him. I'm surprised, everybody. I give this to Andrew Brunet. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Came ba came as a backup and uh, everything to control everybody and keep concerned what he did. Um, I yeah. go with him. My choice would be Andrew Bennett and the manager of the, se of the year is Joe Sakic. And now that Calgary Flame just score. Oh, Dallas is in trouble. And that's yeah. what I've been saying. Dallas cannot seem to Luke win those said, big Timmy, games. Timmy was really uh, uh, great over there. Timmy was in charge, but Bergeron was the last word. That's case was Logan Bayou last year, for example. Yeah, right, right. And after we go Berube. Okay, that's not a bad choice either. No, I, I, like everybody, you know what I mean. Power play yeah. went out for the Toronto Maple Leaf, by the way. Uh, They tried, to, uh, of course, he tried to score. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, that's my point about Bergevin and Demens. I don't know who was really in charge, who has been controlled. If you we never, many, maybe never know, right? Well, I mean, you look at the whole, the whole, the whole way the organization was running. Even the coaching seemed to be Bergevin behind the scenes. So he seemed to be pulling a lot of strings there. You know, Final there's a lot of eight to one. There. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> but look, I've also said, but Mayu was a great pick. <laughs> you know, he was. He was, I agree. <laughs> Too bad it happened, but uh, he, he, he was a good pick. Steve G said, Rob Brains and Moe. Oh, yeah, I agree. That's another good one. Gerard Gallet. Another really good one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great hockey pick, but not the right choice in our top set about my year. Yeah. Yes, exactly. My only problem with Mayu, it was this. I was really disappointed. I always thought, because we was live here, right? And everybody was like shocked when he said Logan Mayu and then the phone and the people screaming, and people was up and down, and that. I always said, my, I thought, until I heard it was not true, I told me the Montreal Canadian sit with Logan Mayu family, the dad, the mom, and the kids, right? And they all right. made together. I said, look, yeah. because he reflect, he doesn't want to get picked, right? He doesn't want to get And it shall draft this season. He wants to hit this yep. season, not last season. He was willing yep. to skip the NHL. But he exactly. cannot do it because he was already in, in the NHL draft. So he requests the day before, do not draft me. I, I yeah. ask you this. Now Montreal yeah. did it. That's yeah. all right. But I thought he met with them, explain and they show him, hey, we're going to do this for you. We're going to do this over there. Look what we have. Look what the plan we have. Look, we believe on you, everything. I thought everybody was on the same page. And the friend said, you know what? 
that's okay. We, I think it's good. I think it's right. And the kid said to Marge de okay, if you pick me, I'll be fine. But they yeah. never met the family. Exactly. They never met the kids. So yeah. they did it in the back, on the, you know, from the back. And I think that's exactly. the only way where I'm disagree with the Montreal Canadian. That's oh, how I that's feel about it. that. Because there's, if it's that, not there's... Montreal pick him at 31, I'm, I can tell you that. One team in Asia will going to pick him up at some point. Oh, yeah. Could be sure. 38, could be 46, 78, 126. Somebody One was team gonna grab is going to take a chance. He had too good, he's too good of a defenseman to bypass altogether. And, I mean, I'm sorry, you can't hold this pass against him if you're willing to work with him and direct him and keep a, you know, keep him um, in close tabs with getting help making sure he's on the right path, he'll be all right. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to keep him on, on the right track. No, my, my point to you, Luke, is this part. Uh, the situation where he did, it's not like, like the biggest scandal in the world. My, my only thing I would say, Luke, to you is he requests. He asks, please do not drape me. That's my only problem I have with that part of that. And again, If he said that, and then the Montreal sit with him, they, they met each other, I, it's all good with me. But in fact, yeah. he requests, and Montreal did not do anything about that. That's what I lose my, my uh, but I, don't, my way, I don't know, call it, like the loyalty, whatever, about Mike Bergevin and Montreal. Canadian. And that's, that's the only that's thing, the but you're absolutely right. Yeah, I think, I think that's the total thing with Mark Bergevin. When he has his mindset, I'm going a direction. It's the heck with whatever's there. He always went ahead with it. He, he was the final man, and that's all how we looked at it. You know what I mean? It was everybody else just step step aside. I'm going to do this. You know. Uh, you keep it going, coach. It's an old story. I don't know what you mean. I, I just tell you what happening about why they did not meet him. That's my point. That a kid yeah. does not want to rest. He does not want to get uh, picked. Christian O did was worse when he got trapped by the Montreal. But you make a huge mistake, but he will grow from this mix. Man, completely yeah. agree with you about that one there. Yeah. He will. He'll be fine. And All the players do a, have a prime, but they will always to handle this. The through the situation. I had no problem with that part. What you know me? I I can't understand what happening, I, and I had no problem with that part over there. It's not end the world. It just feel like. The Montreal could take take another route. Oh, to sure they could him and sure to they. mention them to him over there. That's the only thing I have a problem. I don't have a problem with Logan Mayu as a hockey player uh, 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 about what he did. I just feel for me the Montreal should go there. They did. Yeah. They they met every every players. That's what you do at the combine. You have a combine at the main right now. That's what you do. You met players. But they yeah. met him three, four months before, and that's it. The Dallas score. The Dallas just tied the game. Oh, wow. They got to win that. They have to. <laughs> But, no, I agree with you. And that's, that, that was my problem with a lot of the drafting that went on while Bergevin was there. It, it wasn't going the way it should have gone. There were exactly, guys Alexander, missed. by the way. I agree with you. you know? Oh, no, they leave all getting to bowl in the first round. <laughs> Radan said that. Welcome back, Radan, by the way. Don't forget, guys, click on the likes. Welcome. And uh, I, I forgot about Chris Ensign. I was going to answer by see Francois Pitt. Uh, Chris said, the cover boy of NHL 22 exposed himself to the reporter. Both Keynes and trouble with the law. Uh, Guerin's sexual are so covered up, uh, but no one cared about all that. Who was arrested for domestic violence about that? Yeah, but a lot of things never show up about, and he's right about Guerin's situation. Right. Look about Pittsburgh, right. um, yeah. you know, and the car with Aston Coach, and we don't know everything for sure. That's right. He's, he, hit the, he hit the nail on the head. A lot more that should have been, you know, focused on. That's a great point, Luke. Bergevin left Monson with a hot potato because he knew he was gone. Oh, yeah. He left him with a big mess. <laughs> Look the money he gave to the players. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. 
<laughs> yeah. And yeah. I believe that was the problem most of them because Benjamin feel oh, you don't give me a contract. I know I'm going to be gone here. I'm going to put your team at one direction. And I'm going to yep. feed the players with money. So I don't care. It's not my problem after that. Exactly. That's my opinion too. I, I think, exactly. uh, Luke, uh, you mentioned something good over there for sure about that one yep. over there. I agree, Luke. Yep. Definitely. So we'll be very interested about that. Uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the like before you get. That is pourquoi M. Sundina extend Bergevin. Um, yeah, but in our tap, yeah, he could not do anything because he won the Stanley Cup, whatever. He won to the Stanley Cup, so he was stuck with half part over there. But uh, one thing in our tap, I would say to you, is this should, Monson, if he was the case like that, he should step up. Say, no, you cannot give that money to Gallagher. You cannot get that money or this guy. You have to be careful about this, this. But Monson yeah. never do anything against Bergevin. We never interference about that one over there. You let him run the show. Good night, uh, yep. Patrick. Uh, one zero, the Kings, one one, Saint Louis, San Jose. Thanks so much. Bergevin was the boss. Uh, yep. Yeah. I agree with you about that one there. Yeah, he set them for a hard ball. Exactly about that. Um, don't forget to click on the likes if you didn't do it yet. Uh, that'd be appreciated if you don't mind. Uh, um, any comment before you leave, Mister? Look, uh, Andrew. I'm just looking forward to the outcome of tonight's game. Glad that, you know, I hate to say it, Vancouver lost, but at least it's giving us more of a, a visual of what's going to be in the playoff now. It's, you know, and, it's one only night, about and one night, the Winnipeg Vancouver got eliminated at the same time. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, exactly. But so the, at least only team, we got the, only, the only team still right now is only Vegas. And that's going to be crucial. So I, if I'm Dallas, you better win. <laughs> you know? The only thing I would say now to you, like we're going to shut down here, right? But we're going to watch, you know, everybody here, love our kids. We're going to, but now it will be what Dallas do, do. And after that, what the Kings. Because the Kings win tonight teams. and the Dallas yep. loss or the Dallas win, they get in the trouble. Yep. They are oh, yeah. back exactly the there was two days ago. Yes, yes, so, and that's what we want. So. It'll be really, really <laughs> interesting to see that for sure uh, about that one over there. Thank you it's so much, Andrew. Good. It's always a pleasure, good like job. you do, like uh, in our tap. Uh, you do an amazing, great job. We really appreciate it. People love you, and uh, they're really uh, thankful and grateful to having you aboard. I look forward to seeing you, of course, Sunday night, Mr. Andrew. Sounds and, good. And uh, for the power play. Until Absolutely. then, I'm amazing. Of course, Saturday for the game, but I just want to say for right. the power play. Ah, uh, maybe not Sounds Sunday. Good, we have a game, so I have no power play. You have a game, Boston. Wow, that's right. Forgot about that. No power yes. play. <laughs> <laughs> have a good have night. Have a good night, coach. Thank you, everybody. So What's this oh, guy? Andrew Lepage, directly from Nova Scotia. Uh, another great night with us, guys. Thank you so much uh, for Andrew. It was great. That's I love those kind of conversation after the game. I just wish we have about fifty more people. We have the quality, like like Luke said, cut the team, go get the quality. That's what we have here. At the end of the show, we have 20 people, and we have the quality. That's you in front of me. Have an amazing, great night, everybody. We wish you, of course, a sweet dream. I can wish you tomorrow at 12 o'clock for another warm-up show, uh, morning skate, and then tomorrow night, 6 o'clock with Mr. Enotap. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to do the game Colorado and Mountain. So I think the game starts at 9 o'clock. So we'll be back, of course, tomorrow night. But before we leave, I want to remind you one more thing. Sir. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, Here I you stand have by myself greatness inside of you. Yes, you have greatness inside of you. Of course, you have greatness. Before we leave, don't forget, please, to click on the likes, of course. And then, of course, you have greatness inside of you. And uh, thanks again for everything. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Until then, uh, be well. Be healthy. Find a way to not only dominate your day. But Mr. Natal, we said it with RJ. We said, find a way to dominate your 2022. Have an amazing, great night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.
Inclus Mr. Enocap, RJ, Little Fortune, Alexandre Meyer, Steve G, Ronan, Johnny Golden, Andrew Lepage, Patrick Fenn, François Pitt, Chris Henson. If I forget you, I apologize. Uh, I wish you an amazing, great night, everybody. I rather want you to just let me be. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Good night, Nick. Good night, Alexandre. Danny! Have a good night, Danny. Answer. Been fun. <laughs> Thank you, Danny, for everything. You did a good job tonight, buddy. Good night, Danny. Talk to you tomorrow. Bonsoir, 